Yay. Dr. Rooks. An eventful watch early in the wee hours of the morning. You'll come too. Come to what? Um, I get up. What? Consciousness. You come to consciousness. Oh, thank you. That is pain. Uh, uh, it's worth noting I'm missing some rations still, so you should check your shit again. I check, I my check, my, yep, check my stuff for, for, for the no rations I have, but just check through everything else. Yeah, so again, anybody who has a ration is missing another ration. I'm not a... missing more rations than I wanted to. So they took. Wait, they took one from. Effectively, one from all of us on the first night. And this time they took five off of. Rook. Yeah. And then one off of everyone. Well, I guess one off of Rajana and one off Kato. They took seven day two. Jesus, this toll is going to bankrupt us by the end They're of the. Fucking... You're beginning to overstep for us. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just so you know, this man does have a fireball up his sleeve. Ah, uh, kind. If only you weren't so damp. <laughs> yes, near a river, damn you. <laughs> All right, turn you into kindling one day. Hey, actually, you know what, Vane? That's a very good point. We will damn you to the mountain. We're going to, to the damn mountain. the river. Yes, yes. <laughs> no more, no more water for you. Okay, yeah. give me a survival check to follow the river. <laughs> um, must find the river, then follow the beavers. Oh, <laughs> they'll teach us their ways. <laughs> Yes. Well, you can turn into one and <laughs> communicate for us. Okay. Who is doing what on this brand new day? Um, I will I... navigate. No, I'm kidding. That's a terrible idea. You can navigate. navigate if you, want. you can. You can just. We believe stick. you've rolled above twenty, like twice today. I mean, oh. <laughs> that's almost like a regular roll for a no. human being. No, but nobody oh. rolls above twenty. <laughs> well, true. You can roll twenty. Unless, unless I guess you're rolling like a T one hundred. Yeah. <laughs> um. Anyway, uh, I will uh, listen to water and whittle. Okay. So uh, I will. I will drive the cart. Okay. So it's uh, land vehicles or survival for you, Rook, with advantage because you spoke with the plants <gasps> last night. Uh, Kato, I need. We to made the this. right decision. Hooray! Kato, I need you to make me a survival check, please. Uh, Vayne, I need you to make a perception check, please. And Roshana, if you can make me a oh, d20 shit. roll, please. Yes, I can. Uh, good good advantage, Rook. Nice one. Well played. I've, yeah, yeah. You did Strangely good. Strangely necessary. Yeah. Oh! I'm perceptive! Jesus Christ. <laughs> mm. okay. I can hear the water. It's all around us. I'm drowning. Tsunami. <laughs> <laughs> Let's damn this motherfucking river. Woo! Okay, man. Okay, yeah. I got excited. I love dams. You're, you're pissing off the horses. <laughs> it's okay, though. <laughs> you walk ahead. <laughs> um, trying to figure out which way you could possibly be going to find the river source again. Uh, remembering from yesterday which way you had come down from seeking out your surroundings and re orientating yourself you find the path that you need to follow well path is a strong word but <laughs> you test the water vague down vague dent you... so uh, with Rook at the reins uh, the Plants almost seem to pull away from you slightly as the cart trundles forward. Yes. Vane, you keep um, a keen ear out for the trickling of the water. Did we find out if there's a... a because obviously we've got to cross the river. Is there a bridge that... Like, do we know how far down the river it is at no. all? You didn't ask? No. We didn't. We didn't ask. Okay, I didn't think we did. I just I wasn't sure if I'd forgotten. Oh, that's that's a good point. Uh, hey, Kato. Yes. 
Um, while you're keeping a watch there, could you see if you can find any, like, large, like, dry pieces of wood? It may become necessary to construct some form of raft as we go, and, uh, we should keep an eye out ahead of time. Smart. Very smart. Mm. Yes, that uh, <clears throat> sounds like a worthwhile idea. Mm -hmm. um, just out of curiosity, the river when we came into the forest, how wide was it? Vaguely, like was uh, it kind of like that, like a, a big river, or was it kind of more of a uh, like a babbling brook type? It's Sitch. at the village. It's more of a river. Um, but it does okay. ebb and flow throughout the forest, so it could be okay. anywhere between 30 feet across to 50 feet across, to as so small as 10. It really depends on where you are in the forest. Okay, yeah, that's cool. I was I just wasn't sure if it was like, you know, we're talking like Delaware kind of thing. There's a fly! I killed it. Don't worry. Okay. Kato. Uh, yes. After... A few hours of good, successful travel. You guys are making good time. Um, as you're walking through the grassland and surrounded by these trees, you do see that they do become a little bit more sparse in this area. And you hmm. get a good bearing of the surroundings. You can see the mountains in the far distance to the west. As you're searching the ground for that uh, illustrious plank of wood <laughs> that Rook had men mentioned to you. You begin to see tracks. What kind of tracks? Uh, these look to be very large. Definitely bestial of some kind. Uh, with long claws. Hmm. Uh, it looks like there's some bestial tracks. Hmm. I'm wondering if they might be bears or such. Can I uh, pull the car to a stop briefly and jump off to uh, examine the tracks to see what they belong to, mm -hmm. if I know? Sure. I'll kind of um, walk up to the horses and kind of give them a pat. And, you know, like a pan them with a, a stray leaf or something, if I can, to try and cool <laughs> them down a little bit. Right. <laughs> um, Rook, can you give me a... What would this be? Nature check. Sure. Sounds about right. Uh, yeah, okay. Not, not great. Was, uh, uh, yeah, I need to remember to say guidance before I <laughs> click the buttons. Don't mind. But it's so fun to click buttons. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you can still give yourself guidance as well. Like you mentioned your intention before rolling. 15. 15, not bad. Looking at the tracks. Um, they definitely seem to be bear-like, but the claws are a lot longer. Hmm. And they're definitely a lot larger than just your regular old bear. But it's a giant raccoon. It's not your average bear. Oh, no. no, don't don't say. Why why would you? No. I'm sorry, I just. I need you. I need, I, 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 I need you to stop. <laughs> You haven't seen um, many of them down in the wastes of Zeltari, but you've definitely heard of them and uh, been mentioned to you in passing by certain travelers in the area and pointed to you out in books. These look to be all bear tracks. Can you figure them. something out? I, uh, I'd like put a hand onto my like uh, my fur. Mm -hmm. over me and uh, I take a closer look to see if I can tell uh, h how fresh they are um, to get an idea for how long it's been since the creature was last here okay give me a, ooh, a survival check for that please hmm yes, oh. yes. Um, looks like it's been a while um, now whether the rain that you encountered earlier was in this area or not, it's, it's kind of hard to tell. Um, but the the muck around 
that uh, the paw print was being placed into seems quite dry. So take from that what you will. Hmm. I've heard of creatures called owl bears that leave a uh, mentally marks. We should be weary. Have I heard of this? You have. Yeah. And mm. as you're looking around, Kato, with that survival check you just did before, there seems to be more than one. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Seems like there's more than one. Um, no. If are, are any of the tracks like notably smaller than the others? Mm, not that you can see. Um, when Kato points them out, just distinguishing between the tracks here, uh, one appears to be just slightly smaller than the other. And you figure in this area at least there was two walking through this area. Two large ones. Uh, also, have I just heard of them, or have I actually encountered one? They're not as common in the Barren Valley. Uh, okay. Uh, you might have seen one being pulled through as a trophy, as uh, hmm. their okay. parts are quite collectible, considering um, the vanishers. Fair enough. Um, <clears throat> just randomly, if you see a, a raft, that would also be good. Like, don't specifically look for just a piece of wood. Maybe if you find a whole raft, that would save a lot of time. Or a boat, maybe. You want us to keep an eye out for a boat? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, if you spot I mean, a boat, I mean, and you're like, well, I, I wasn't explicitly told to get a boat. I uh, I have faith that uh, we'll be able to make the right call in that instance. Yeah, I would love <laughs> So, okay, I'm not, I don't know yet. I'm just patting horses. Uh, everyone keep an eye out. Uh, could be creatures nearby, big ones. Hmm. Hey. Hopefully they'll leave us alone if we leave them alone. Seems fair. I pat the horses. Don't worry. Nothing was said about big creatures or anything dangerous. No worries. All good. There, there. The horses look very warily at you, Vain. <laughs> I give them a smile and a wink. In a, in a sort of comforting way. Like a don't worry, we've got you. You're, you. you know, you're part of the gang. Okay, gang, do you guys want to continue on? <laughs> yes. I would yes. like to stand here and tell the owlbears turn up, please. <laughs> no, I will, uh, I will continue walking along and uh, finding the easiest uh, pathway towards, like, so we can kind of keep near the river. You keep your ear out. And I'll also, yeah, I'll also keep an eye just in case I see a bridge because we have no idea how far into the forest it is. Yep. Okay. I assume quite south, but you never know. Kato, you lead the party on once more. Um, you find that the easiest path through this part of the forest that the owl, ugh, owl bear tracks uh, seem to track along. Do you want to diverge from this course, or are you going to continue on? Hmm. So the current trail is heading in the same direction as the, uh... Oh, there tracks. Yep. Okay, um... Does it seem like there's any other trail? I know uh, it's. I know there isn't really a trail, but any I mean, other sort of passable. This kind of area, there are. It's like quite open, but the most 
demarcated path is obviously littered by the owlbear tracks. You can pull off into the forest, maybe, and hope for the best. Does an owlbear count as, like, so if you were to speak to animals, like, would that... If they were a beast... Okay, I don't. I personally do not know. Cool. Um. Well, if uh, just to sort of put in my opinion, I believe surely if the owl bears are using this track to go south, then perhaps there is a crossing that they are heading towards. So, might it be pertinent to stay on this? Path. I don't really know anything about owlbears, so I'm not really sure what exactly the, they are or why. I mean, I have, have heard vagaries of them, but nothing. We just need to be careful not to put the horses into danger. Yes. Well, yes, I suppose that's true. And both owls and bears are carnivores, so, well, omnivores. Mm. It might be best if we take an alternate route. Do we know how, how old these tracks are? Or do they seem quite fresh? Um, I, I, it could be recent. At the, with the rain that's come down, it's hard to say. Well, I defer to you, you yourselves. You spend more time in the actual wilderness than I have. Well, I'm sure we could handle ourselves just fine. It's the risk to the horses. Um, <laughs> you're leading the way, uh, Kato. Whatever you think. Hmm. We will go off the beaten path. Alrighty. Can I ask a vaguely <laughs> stupid mechanical question? The the like so so with seeming in disguise self, mm -hmm. could you theoretically not change your appearance at all, but change the like? So I'm thinking like, you know, in those stupid movies where they like paint themselves to look like bricks and then they just sort of lean against the wall so it kind of is like shitty camouflage could you could you in theory do that are you, are you asking if we can just uh reskin all of ourselves and just to have camo well i was thinking i was thinking that but it was mainly if if we ran into the albers just camo the horses to whatever the backdrop was at the time and then we could deal with it. So at least the horses were a little bit more. Uh, do you want, do you want hmm. a post seam in there? Because I think yeah. you can. Because uh, it, it just says you can't. Yeah. Because yeah. it just says that you can't really change their like configuration. And you can change the fat fin, blah, 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 blah. But I mean, in theory, you can change skin color and. Um, and like uh clothes so you could just make them into a shrubbery <laughs> oh my god yeah you could good i will say though just remember that this is a spell above your level so... yes yeah no no I, yeah it's it's so it was he, more just like a, <laughs> like they it was it was more of a see you yeah a vaguely stupid question because i was looking at it like i mean it doesn't say it's not possible <laughs> It seems like a ridiculous thing to do, 
like yeah <laughs> you know okay good cool that was all i wanted to know um yeah just this mental picture of the horse is just staying really still mm. all righty uh, uh, okay. kato you yeah. are taking the party off the beaten path indeed you find the You find a trek just, you know, where the, the trees aren't as close together. And hope for the best as you head south. Um, Good. As afternoon time comes around, I'd like... Kato, if you're staying up front to make a survival check for me, please. Uh, okay. Ruck to make me a land vehicles or survival check. Uh, no longer with advantage, oh unfortunately, as we... Yep, 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 yep. Uh, the plants that you spoke to are no longer within the vicinity. Yeah, moved on to the next territories. Ooh. Oh, ouch. That, that's and the vain. second one of those. Yeah, and then Roshana. Off the beaten plants. Uh, Roshana and Vain, who who was doing the perception? So I was doing perception, but if we're... Are we moving off the beaten path? So this is more of a question to Kato, I guess. Are we moving off the beaten path towards the river or away from the river? Because... Well, you're going south, so yeah, it should be towards, towards the river. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. I'll, I just wasn't sure if, like, because if we're getting further away, it's going to be really difficult to hear. A trickle of water. Yeah, it'd be Part no. Be we'd, we'd be going closer if anything. Okay. Cool. I have a twelve for perception. Roshana just shot. That's all has done. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Either that or that means that we run into a black dragon. I'm not sure. Actually, the fire. third. Third, technically, yeah, because you did two in a row. Gosh. God damn. Alrighty. Um, the path is winding, and Kato, you find that the uh, tracks, while you're moving away from the owl bears, thankfully, um, the trees and the thicket are just becoming so so thick and just grand the brush is starting to crawl all over you and as you're weaving and ducking between branches you find that the cart um, rook is becoming snagged and uh, each time you trundle over another roosh you feel yourself being jerked a little bit and the wheel feels a bit wobbly and the horses aren't too happy at all as their footing begins to drop beneath them they're becoming quite tired um with the maneuvering of so i think i'm i don't know if i'm sat on the back of the um it's up to you i think i'm sat. I just, so yeah i just like sat where by where the barrels are if i feel like the wheel going a bit wobbly can i walk around and take a take a look at it like so i walk up beside the the moving car basically and just kind of gauge what we're dealing with yeah it, it literally looks like that uh you've gone over a bit too much brush and loose stones once that it is um slowly coming undone it hasn't come done entirely but it is definitely slowing your travel uh um rook would you like to hold for a couple of minutes and i'll see if i can kind of make this a bit more comfortable um sure, so that more damage doesn't happen um, yeah. And, uh, I'll just try and, uh, kind of ask the guys to, actually, I've already asked Roshana, she's the strongest one we've got, um, <laughs> to sort of hoof the, um, the, f I, I don't know what wheel it is, um, just to hoof the, the cart up a little bit so I can kind of jiggery pokery it back on. Okay. And, uh, try, try and get it as secure as possible. Yeah. Alrighty. With the... Chavel, it was at disadvantage, but with Roshana help you, it would be at advantage, so it's just a straight roll. Vane, if you can give me a carpentry check, please, with dex as the um, attribute, please. So, so not charisma? No. <laughs> Shucks. <laughs> oh, 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 my I God. made us a fucking car! <laughs> Gosh, dang. Okay, good. Cool. Yeah, and with a swift, swift boonk! <laughs> Just a slap of the hand against the wheel, it is snugly back in place again. I fucking funzed it. <laughs> hey. Impressive. Okay, cool. oh, uh, I'm getting used to this now. I guess all those uh, nightly uh, 
car to repairs are paying off. Uh, I'll give it a little, you know, just double check, and then I'll hop. Uh, I'll actually, I'll, I'll just, yeah, I'll double check the other three, but I think they're relatively fine, and then I'll hop back on. Yeah. Yep. Right, so. Hop back on the uh, back of the car and continue my Whitland. Oh, oh, Whitland. You start up your journey again. Uh, Peter leading the way. You're have to take out a scimitar a couple of times to hack away a couple of the bushes because it's it's just not possible to traverse through the brush otherwise um rook still you feel the horses are getting increasingly tired and though it hasn't reached the end of the day yet you do feel that your journey is slowly coming to an early stop um you take a look around and listening out vain you do not hear the river at all um, we seem to have veered, at least for the moment, more distance um, from the river that I could hear. But if I assume if we keep moving south, we should meet up with it at some point. It's just a matter of uh, that information we were given about staying close to the river. Mm, yeah, we can take a little bit of extra earlier. Extra, sorry. If we're going to be stopping earlier, then we can take a bit of extra time to sort of maybe climb a tree and. Yes, yes, of course. See if we have any well, eyes on. Lovely owl uh, and or ferrets. I believe both can climb and one can fly. Um, okay. Uh, I will do my usual go around the park, check the wheels. Mm -hmm. Except that, that that beautiful one that's now uh, actually a full tire with a spinning rim. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah, and I'll just go around and double check. Um, and sort of look around for any of those berries that we were told about. Midnight moon doodly book. Uh, Midnight. Sure, you can give me an investigation check if you like. Yeah. I like plants. That's intimidation. That's the wrong thing. Um, uh, you do find uh, some berries. <gasps> They're not glowing, but... Uh, oh. <laughs> might be magical. You're not uh, sure. Can I take um, one and just bring it to uh, the camp? Mm -hmm. um, which I assume I'm like, right next to anyway. Uh, and, and just kind of flick through the... Um, the book and see if it resembles anything even remotely from the book. Yeah. You take a look through the book and this plant doesn't seem to be present at all. The closest it looks like is like a holly berry, but this one is definitely a more raspberry red than it is an orange red. Okay. Uh, I will put it in with uh, my herbalism kit and just leave it there for, for a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, something we can um, with those uh, flowers that Rook we uh, got we can take a look at um, when we get a little bit of uh, chill time. If we stopped earlier it might be today. Um, we'll see how the horses are. And then put our tents I guess. Yep. Mm -hmm. Unless we're not stopping here, in which case I've just done all of this and everyone's disappeared. So <laughs> that's kind of awkward. No, I'm good with the uh, stopping here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. yeah, that's fine. It's in an early like town. Yeah. Horses are uh, yeah. getting fatigued. You don't want to knock them out too much. Already. So, what's the plan? Is your, uh, uh, stopping early. What time of day is it? I mean, the light filtering down through the canopy now is starting to get a bit dark, so maybe late afternoon, you think? Mm -hmm. um, how high up is the canopy, roughly? Uh, it could be anywhere between 10 to 30 feet. It really depends. Around in this area, about 20. Uh, oh dear. 
I will try to climb. Okay. You just give me an athletics check as you walk over to one of the sturdier looking trees. Yes, ma'am. Uh, boop. 21. 21. Okay. You find the sturdy looking tree and size it up for a moment before hopping up and uh, using the thick branches near the bottom to start climbing up. As you get to the top, it is uh, you have to steady yourself quite a bit. Uh, just because you feel the tree swaying even <laughs> as um, it gets thinner towards the top. But after a couple of minutes or so, you break the tree line. You can see it around you. Is there anything you're looking for in particular? Um... The river if I can. Um... Make sure we're still heading in the right direction, you know, south. Mm -hmm. uh, it appears we've lost our little cart icon, the little brown yes. box. Uh, let's see if I can see the town. Probably not. Okay. Uh, give me a perception check, please. Okay. Uh. Alrighty. Um, as you're looking around Kato, you're following along the tree line. You see certain trees um, go much further up than you are currently, whereas others dip down. As you're looking uh, over this sea of valleys and hills of the treetops, you can't see the river or the village for that matter it's just a blanket of green leaves are we still heading south you seem to be yeah okay the sun is heading downwards towards the west but you can see the mountains from where you are okay well that's uh that's something oh, we'll climb back down <laughs> Um, while that's been happening, uh, I assume we will have put up the tenties. Um, and I will pop over to Rook and say, um, I found this little berry. Uh, would you like to spend some time, as we're stopping off early today, um, to have a look at those uh, flowers you picked and, and see if we can find anything of interest? Uh, sure. Yeah. And with them, and we can see about this berry as well. Yeah, it sounds good to me. Cool, cool, cool. I will set up my herbalism kit. Uh, okay. We can use yours as well if you'd like, or... Mm -hmm. I'll follow suit. Okay. I was really sad. I was looking at um, Song of Rest. And I was like, oh, maybe I can sing a rest the horses to make them feel a little better. But I have to use hit die. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if the horses are going to eat unless we have to have <laughs> <laughs> All creatures have a hit die. Feels... But, uh... Yeah, but I, they haven't. Have they taken damage? <laughs> no, <laughs> uh, I hope not. Yeah, so I was like, I feel like you know. I feel like we'd hear about it. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. They'd let maybe, us maybe, know. Maybe, <laughs> maybe I can just maybe I can just say to Rook one day, "Is like, can you tell them to use it?" Right? <laughs> no, no, I'll see if. Oh my god! Can what the hell is a hit die? <laughs> <laughs> exactly, I don't know. <laughs> Why is your nose sure. bleeding? <laughs> I've seen into the future. <laughs> we're up, we're all in the okay. game. Ready? I'm just looking up the rules. Or herbalism kit. Herbalism. I do not know. Okay. Um, I think any additional effects are probably from. Sorry? Which book is it? 
There's there's a book. It's Xanathar's. Like, I'm like looking up. Xanathar's. Right yeah. yeah. Um. Okay. So what is the plan here? What are you trying to do with the flowers? Uh, I I suppose we're trying to see if there's any um, any like medical uh, effects. Yeah. From them. So to I, I think as well, like, so in the we'll test, um, so we'll do like a small test with pollen, a small test with, uh, if did you say it's like a daisy, right? Yeah, it's a very large, so, um, a small test with parts of the stem and leaves, perhaps, uh, a small test with the yellow, like, I don't know, they're like kind of like seedy bits. Uh, with the petals, you know, just kind of testing each thing individually and then maybe mixing them with, you know, water and vague other things that are okay. in um, So... Just to see if there's any medical properties. If you're both looking... Yeah, you're both looking for the medical properties. Um, one of you can um, do medicine with advantage mm -hmm. or you can both do medicine. Uh, I would like to cast Bardic Inspiration on Rook. Okay. I assume you're also going to ask me to do it with advantage. Yeah. Cool. We'll do. Damn. Very nice. Do you want to roll your bardic? Uh, so that's a plus eight. So I'll plus roll a D slash one D A. Is that right? Yep. No, it's not. <laughs> slash it R one D eight. Uh, slash R space I one D eight. Yeah, I forgot the R. Oh, there we go. Six. Twelve. Nice. Fucking thirty. Okay. <laughs> Show um... me your secrets, plant. <laughs> <laughs> you, okay. you could have just said, "Speak with uh, speak with plants." Oh, yeah. What, what everything do you about you? <laughs> what happens when things eat you? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. So, from just testing and uh, testing the plant, testing the waters of the plant. <laughs> Um, you gather that it's not used to treat illnesses or wounds by any means. Um, it doesn't even seem to be medicinal. But this plant, if prepared in the correct way, um, could be used to make a very good potion that could potentially increase one size. Ooh. Ooh. Quick, let's go back and get more. <laughs> oh my god. They're giant daisies. They must have giant that, properties. You know what? It makes that now that I think about it, <laughs> it makes so much sense. <laughs> um, <laughs> how's that like? Yeah, that's that's a logical step. Giant daisy, giant effect. Um, cool. Ooh, this is interesting. Hmm. I'm, um, I'm not sure if I would know how to put it into effect, but if we can, uh, I can put them into the bag of cold into. Uh... Well, just think if we if we could prepare it subtly, and maybe feed it to Roshana, she would be a big woman. I couldn't even imagine. I I recall uh, a vision once of, of okay, a big, big lady. No, <laughs> uh, I don't need I don't need to hear about your dreams, babe. <laughs> let's, let's let's put these in stasis, and if we can find an alchemist that is a uh, proficient in making such things, perhaps we can. Uh, Offer them. Oh, yeah. Um. Uh, well, I also got this berry, so should we have a go at this as well? Sure. Uh, I only got the one, so we'll have to be a bit uh, cautious. Oh, fly. Um. So I guess like, use a little bit of the skin, a little bit of the pulp, a little bit of the juice. You know, okay. all the usual. Uh, and what's the plan? You're looking for um medical uses? Uh, yeah. Uh, You're trying to figure out. What um, it I is, think, or uh, well, I'd like to figure out what it is, or at least, like, not necessarily. I don't think it's going to tell me its name, but like, you know, whether it's poisonous, that kind of like basic thing, and then find out if yeah, medicinal properties, uh, from from Thane's perspective. But yeah. if it's poisonous, what's just, what's I would also like. To... I think. Yeah, because I think put medicine you can have you can be bad at medicine, yeah. can't you? Or good at medicine, but in a bad way. Rook only really knows medicine. how to make like basic healing potions, so he doesn't really have the frame of reference to to be able to look specifically for other effects. So we want to try medicine mm -hmm. first. Mm -hmm. 
Um, uh, do, do are we uh, doing the same again? Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, may as well. Uh, do you don't get body consideration this time. Okay, I love it. You probably should. Um, I mean, it's a bright berry, and looking at it, it doesn't. It's a berry. Not everything has to be magical. That's true. I would like to taste the berry. Okay. Oh Thank dear. you. After, uh, you know, <laughs> taking off a piece of the skin and squeezing the pulp and the juice, you, you okay. gather the, the mush of the berry and pop it into your mouth. It tastes a bit better. Pauses for Black Dragon. It's not a Black Dragon in disguise. Excellent. Um, okay, well, it's not killed me, so that's profit. Uh, what an odd must just be a berry. Just mm -hmm. a berry, then. Okay. All right, Vane. <laughs> um, can I ask you a quick question? The um, the the, 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 the daisies. Mm -hmm. Was there a specific part that was used for the um, large? Seemed effect, like the whole thing. Was it... Really, it's, uh... it's just the whole. Yeah, right. yeah. I wasn't sure if it was uh, just the pollen because you know pollen. Cool. Well, I give Rick a, a nod and say that was good. Yeah, so nice to be able to use these tools every now and then. Mm, definitely. I think they'll come in handy across the rest of this forest, at least. Especially if we find some of those uh, midnight mind magigooks. Not that we really need to um, cultivate them at all. I believe they just you just eat them. But maybe there's a a way to refine the the actual effect via herbalisms and medicines. Uh -huh. I'm going to clean out my herbalism kit and give it a little polish. When they're ready. And is there anything else you guys would like to do before you bed down? You've orientated yourself, uh, checked out the items that you've picked up. I'm gonna eat something. Cast good berry. Okay. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Quick, get the herbalism kit out again. I want you to have a um... sparse but very filling <laughs> and nutritious dinner. I will. I will hand out the uh, the six to us, so the four for us and the two for the horses, and then my remaining four, mm -hmm. I will uh, like leave out somewhere on like relative display. Um around the camp wow. mm -hmm. just so now, you know that can be the thing that they take if they want it mm. maybe okay yeah they'll have an appetizer and a main now yeah that's fine <laughs> good berry carrying this expedition good berry good that's what it's there for berry? <laughs> <laughs> so much food going to waste it's not. The forest loves it. Yeah, it's <laughs> coming back for more. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get enough. Yeah, I tell you, this, I mean, this, it's this, this the talk this, of the tarnished forest. Yeah, you're, this forest loves your parents' be uh, butcher. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, tense up, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I take first watch, or I can take third watch. It's up to you. What would you guys like to do? Um, I'll take first. Yeah, okay. Captain. I'll take second. Roshana. I take third. Nine. I'll take my usual. <laughs> and... Rook like the darkness. The darkness. Rook is Batman. <laughs> or confirmed. Yeah. We have never also, seen both of them in the same room. <laughs> also, oh if, my if, he if he takes the last watch, no one will notice that he is the one eating one of them. That's scraps true. because your par your parents butchery is actually makes some really good rations. Oh my, oh my god. <laughs> Darkness. American. No parents. Oh wait, that's not me. <laughs> He's got the voice for it, so. Yeah. 
true. Oh, yep, there it is. Yep. <laughs> okay. Uh, and so... he will soon be able to turn into a bat. <laughs> oh, true. Wishful thinking. But, um, okay, Kato, you are <laughs> up first. So, as your friendy... All right. Bed down for the night, what would you like to do? Don't you want to do in your watch? Hmm. The guild book only writes messages to other groups, right? And the guild. And the guild. Well, pretty much if you write to someone else, they can see what you're writing. Um, I will, if I can, inquire of Professor Gilmore if any further research has been conducted on the, uh, on, on my dream at all. Mm -hmm. Just, uh, scribble, scribble. Yeah, I mean, about 15 minutes or so pass before you get a message back saying uh, the message has been sent to Professor Gilmore. He will get back to you presently. He is probably sleeping. Uh, yeah, that's about all I can think of. Okay, you can give me a perception check as well, please. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, sure, set up Kato, uh, scribbling away in the book. The air around you has become quite dark, um, and even with the light of the fire that uh, you've set up, it is quite difficult to distinguish between the different shapes um, in the forest. As you are just gazing about, however, you do see what looks to be like a face, a large face, white, just peers at you through the forest. The eyes are in indistinguishable, but it looks to be like the face of an old man. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Vane. Uh, how far away? Maybe about 20, 25 feet away. Oh, it's really close. Uh, you just stand up, uh, hand, hand on the sword. Who's there? As the resonating of your voice, the face just slips back into the darkness. Uh, oh no. Um, any chance I recognize the face? Or just regular nondescript old man face. <laughs> With that perception check, regular descript nondescript yeah, old man I'd, face. Yeah, figured. Um I'm probably lucky I got that. Uh oh dear. Um You did see though that the old man had like a very long beard. Hmm. Uh, but again, it's just the face that you saw, so it's basically just a floating face <laughs> in the darkness with his yeah. beard. Sus. Uh, I will. I will uh, summon Ivory uh, just to keep an extra pair of eyes. Mm -hmm. Bumps onto your shoulder. Hmm. <laughs> I feel like that would be a fabrication. <laughs> a 
I saw someone. I don't know if they were fiendish. I can take a look. Please do. And she stares off into the distance, her eye, her galaxy-like eyes, just pouring and scanning over the entirety of the forest around you. Her head swivels in position as she looks pretty much 360 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see anything. Unfortunate. Well, let's keep an eye out anyway. I think someone's watching us. She yeah, nestles down onto your shoulder. Just waits, looking around. Anything else you'd like to do, Peter? <laughs> oh, that's a that's a bad all. Okay. And thoroughly on edge, uh, eventually comes to the point of waking Roshana up. You're yep. what? Tap, tap on the side. Mm. I'm up. I'm up. I'm good out. It seemed like there was. Uh, Old man watching us. Don't say me. I haven't said anything yet. I'll look around. Mm -hmm. Well, nothing in the immediate vicinity. But... Yeah. <laughs> You're the only only old yeah. looking man around here, so <laughs> you see an old man with white hair. <laughs> you get a long, long white beard. <laughs> it faded into Garden the darkness. Light. Okay. That's strange. Thanks for letting me know. Mm -hmm. One half mind Rashana's thinking he took some weird berry and another half thinks <laughs> he is slightly asleep. <laughs> When have you known him to engage in intoxicants? She has not, but there's wild things happening. <laughs> Who do you think I am? Vane? An old man? Aisha. <laughs> yep, no, I'll go to sleep. <laughs> so, Rashana, you sit up. Uh, mm -hmm. Very perplexed <laughs> by what you've just been told. Mm -hmm. You can give me a perception check, please. Here you go. Thank you very much. You keep your eyes peeled. Uh, the fire begins to dim slightly, mm -hmm. relinquishing to the night. Um, so you're eyes are a little bit stronger the contrast not as great as you're looking out with your dark vision it seems eerily quiet I mean you'd always expect at least the rustling of the leaves and the you know nattering of the night creatures that call the forest home mm -hmm. but aside from the little crackles and the spitting of the fire. Nothing catches your attention. And even that mm. feels odd. Is there anything else you'd like to do on your watch? Mm. I will walk around uh, the small perimeter we have for the camp. Mm -hmm. And... I want to cast Detect Evil and Loop. Ooh, Just to okay. Be sure. Throw her up there. Please. I did it. Okay, nice. Okay. Very nice. So for the next 10 minutes, you are aware of any aberrations, celestials, elementals, fey, fiend, or undead. Three feet of you. Mm -hmm. You 
keep that up, concentration as it is. Expanding your senses using Sable's power, you feel the power of the moon delving through you, through your core and into the ground beneath your feet and mm -hmm. spreading outwards in a 30 foot radius around you. Everything seems to glow slightly with a slightly tint. Keep your eye on the periphery where creatures may not have entered, but for the time that you have the spell up and for the rest of your watch, no creature seems to come near you. All right. And next up is Vane. I'll go Shikas. Shoulder jump, like. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Time to wake up. I'm up. Yes, that's okay. okay. Ooh, let's go. Mm -hmm. Struggles out of bed. <laughs> Don't fall asleep. I never have. Mm -hmm. You know nothing. Uh, and then I, <laughs> I will sit down near the, near the um, windmill fire. I'm presuming. Uh, the horses, actually. Oh, the horses, right. Yeah. I want to see if they've got any uh, hairs that have fallen out that I can use in this brush. <laughs> oh, God. While keeping an eye on the surroundings. Yeah, you see that the horses are kind of like stood, uh, silently sleeping, swaying into each other a little bit. Bless them. Uh, those stray hairs. <laughs> Uh, but if you want to give me a perception check, that'd be very great. Thank you. I'm really interested in this horse out. Mm -hmm. And yeah, the gentle snoring of the horses gently lulls you as well to sleep, thing. Nice. I'm glad Roshana told me not to fall asleep. Almost becoming a bit of a habit. Um, Rook, you sit up. <laughs> eyes a little bit groggy and you stretch. And the realisation hits you once more. Uh, I think about casting Shillelagh this time, but I hold on. <laughs> Please don't. Probably I, don't particularly, I particularly don't feel like bludgeoning you. And uh, where's where's Vin sitting at the moment? He's sitting over by the horses, um, blanket around the shoulders, and he's actually slumped up against one of the horse's uh, hind legs. The horse doesn't seem to mind. Um, I'd rather he didn't, but, you know, the horse looks yeah. over at you as you walk over. I, I walk over, and then I just, like, put a hand on Vane's shoulder that's next to the horse, mm -hmm. and then I just gently push him until he topples over the fire. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, hello. Good morning. I was just about to come and wake you up. Shh. The others are still sleeping. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Yes. Why don't you go join them? Just keeping an eye on the horses for a moment. Uh huh. Uh huh. Um. Good. Good work, Rook. Anything to report? Uh, nope. As far as I'm aware, it's been a completely quiet night. Good. Excellent. Um, if you see any horse hair, collect it for me. I'm Why? Gonna rush off to... <laughs> I I'm trying to put it in this brush for the horses so that they can have a kind of brush through when they get sweaty and stuff, just to, for comfort. Just sort of stares at you with a confused look on his face. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to bed now because I've been uh, out for two now. hours. Yes, I better go. Mm -hmm. Um, farewell. 
and I'll rush off to my tent. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just this is work staring daggers into my back. <laughs> He'll never know. Haha. -ha. Okay. <laughs> okay, so you look around and begin to position yourself for the best uh, perceptive outlook. You take a look over to where you left the good berries and they are all gone. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. I check my own pack. Your pack or the bag of holding? I ch I, the bag of holding. Bag of holding, there's three missing. Okay. <laughs> it's a, it's, we're building a relationship here. I can be a little bit forgiving. I'm sure. <laughs> there's, there's quality stuff in there. I have to blame them. All right. I'll uh, tighten my uh, bandana around <laughs> okay. my head and sit up on the cart, uh, pulling my furs around me. That gives me uh, a a falsely larger uh, image in case anything is uh, keeping a, an eye so I appear like I'm a larger creature when okay. I'm really not. <laughs> A furry ball with two giant teeth sticking up. Yep, 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 yep. Brilliant, okay. Danger, danger. Danger. Okay, uh, give me a perception check, please. Yes. Mm, very nice. Uh, you listen, Rook, and between waking up Vane and giving him the death stare of the century, uh, it takes you a moment to realize that it's incredibly quiet. No, no. No nattering. Birds, birds. no dr drip drop of uh, of water uh -uh. from the leaves. Nope. Deathly still and quiet. For about mm. the first hour or so. And then as dawn breaks and you see a little bit of light filtering down from the leaves above. The birds almost seem to waken up. And even in your humanoid form, you can tell that they are hesitantly beginning their bird song again of Don't come near my patch. This is my patch. This is my house. This is my wife. Don't come near me. Don't come near my children. If you come near me, I'll peck your eyes out. That kind of, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. The usual. The usual. Um, From... Just um, having an idea of how nature generally functions and looking at, like, these birds. Is there, like, an indication that there is some sort of, like, unspoken universal rule that you do not make noise at night? Oh, ooh, or is um... it... Or, or was it... Did it seem natural enough? Because you said they seemed, like, hesitant. Was that more of a... Was that a normal thing I would see? Or is it this, unique? This is very different. Um, yeah. Even the the past few nights that you've been here, that didn't happen. You always heard at least some kind of even chirping from the crickets or um, an errant bird just calling out, going, Hello! you know, in case yeah. there was a bird nearby. That was very strange. Unnatural. Mm hmm. <laughs> Not quite at the moment yet, so I will just uh, be a little bit extra vigilant. And every like, if we're an hour in, I'll I'll about half an hour later I'll move position just to have another vantage point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and like I said, the birds are starting to pick up the song again, and yeah, the rest of your watch goes by uneventful. I'll uh, I'll put a uh, a pot of uh, water onto the fire just to start it boiling, and I'll go wake the others up. Mm -hmm. Morning, everyone. Morning. Morning. Bit of a strange 
watch for me. Oh, all. Uh, for whatever reason, the uh, animals in the area seemed very hesitant to make noise until day properly broke. Hmm. Hmm. Now that you're saying that, I did notice that as well. It That's was very quiet when the... I was on watch. Yeah. I'm sure. I glare at Fane. What? You seem awfully rested. What can I say? The good berries are really hitting home. Mm -hmm. uh, speaking of which, the uh, four that I left out is like a offering deal or gone. Hmm. Oh. So oh, did they been... take any of the food? Yes. I don't check As the rest of you are like just checking your, you know, bog standard hard tack rations, they all seem to be intact. Nothing's been taken from hmm. that pile, at least. Hmm. Hmm. I only want the quality shit. I mean, I can understand that. They have taste. <laughs> Doesn't make me too happy. Maybe one day we could have one of those Russians. <laughs> yeah, maybe we could have a taste. <laughs> mm. Um, did that, was that for... hmm? Did Rook or Vane notice a bearded old man? What? Man? Eh? I'd look around. I mean, you're an old man, but you haven't really got a beard. He's not old. He's older. He, he looks old. <laughs> he does. He does. But, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Isn't he like the youngest in the party? Yep. yep. Even, even the horses look at you and go, oh. He <laughs> does look old. <laughs> anyway. I saw a bearded old man on my watch. Oh. Why didn't you tell us? <laughs> I did. Me. Looks at Roshana. Listen. I thought you were sort of asleep. Stone face. Hmm? So, on my watch there could have been an old man just dawdling around. That's kind of Possibly. Well... Uh, hopefully they're just... not the one that the birds are afraid of. Maybe he's the one stealing the rations. You see him again, uh, say he can have the shitty ones, but we want at least a couple of them. I'll, I'll, I'll be honest, like, part of me was justifying the rations going missing by pretending this forest was like some mystical, magical thing. If I found out that some old dude is taking our shit, there's gonna be hell to pay. <laughs> Fireballs. <laughs> Fireballs galore. <laughs> I'm with you. Some old. We thought old it was the forest. Is... No, it was Kevin. <laughs> fucking oh, fucking old forest Kevin is gonna get a fucking piece of my mind. Fucking Kevin. And Shalele. Hmm. Yes. I mean, if, uh, to take the good berries and the nice food, I mean, that's just. And for a human to eat four. It's ridiculous. Well, that is substantial. I mean, after two, I well, I one, and then another one a bit later, I felt kind of ill. Well, I mean, not ill, well, but such just over, overly full. And I mean, it's a well, day worth of nutrition. What do you expect? Yes. This might be just someone trying to scavenge for an entire group. But I don't know. No, it, it can't be just some regular guy because how would they have gotten my Bag. But you were holding it, weren't you? I mean, you did the night before. Yeah. Um. So they would have to know what to look for in that bag and be able to get in and out without any of us seeing or hearing. That seems a bit strange. Hmm. What did you? What did he look like? I turn myself into Kato with a big grey beard. Does he look like this? No. A little bit old. I make myself look a little bit older. How about now? No. 
it no to the next the, one. Did you look into the water and see an old man? <laughs> what water? I don't know. <laughs> um, uh, can you describe him at all? Maybe we can do this thing a bit. Um, <laughs> just look. <laughs> just the, this, this, sketches this, time I'm st this time I'm staring daggers. An old man with a long gray beard. Uh, any features like uh, eyes far apart? Bigger eyes, smaller eyes, big mouth, clothes, hair. No. It was dark and he was far away. Okay. Very well. I dropped this guy self. <clears throat> well. Hopefully he's gone for them. If you see him again, do tell us. Yes, and maybe we'll be taken a bit more seriously this time. <laughs> I mean, you're always so high, we never know when you're being serious. <laughs> All this meditation and free love, I mean, dude. Maybe you can just tell me next time, Kato. Sure. If you don't yeah. mind being woken up. I, I would prefer it to the alternative. No All of our food stolen. Seems fair. Well, off we pop. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to take the, uh, the water I was boiling and just put it into the uh, uh, flasks that I have for the coffee. But mm. I'm not actually making any coffee today. Yeah, just... Keeping the water hot. Yeah. How many flasks do you have? Two. Two. Okay, cool. Someone else uh, might have their own flask, but I have two. Yeah, okay. I, I do not. Although, maybe if I drink one of these healing potions. <laughs> oh, no, this is like a metal flask. Oh, like a fucking okay, flask. Okay. Yes. An actual flask. I was thinking yeah, of a yeah. flask. I'm, I'm, keeping a, I'm keeping hot water in the actual flasks in case we ever need to use the... Uh, the wizened uh, wart. Yeah. It's not, so I can Sounds just drop it in and have it ready. Smart. Look at this guy with his smartness. Um, okay, cool. Uh, Bane will quickly whip around to check the, the wheels and sit on the back. Right. After packing up the sense. We definitely pack up the sense because I don't want to leave them behind. Okay. Who is at the helm today? Who wants to be at the helm? No one else is doing it, Bane. Well, sure. Go ahead. Okie dokie. You, you may as well. Uh, who is navigating? Uh, I can navigate again. Okay. And Kato and Roshana, uh, one of you can do perception, and the other one can do a d20 roll, please. I will do perception, perception this time. Okay. Okay. No, I will not. Oh, <laughs> and dang. It's payment for all those nat 20s. Three nat 20s, now three nat 1s. Don't say that. <laughs> damn. God damn. And, uh... Well. Oh, oh my, my god. god. <sighs> Albez. Albez <laughs> and man. the Black Dragon. An old man riding Albez and the Black Dragon. No, an old man riding owls, Alves riding a black dragon. Hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> um, <laughs> fuck. So, uh, yeah, 14. Well, uh, just. Mm -hmm. No, I was just trying. Were we still in the little sort of uh, the drier, clear area? Or. Because or... I think that. Well, didn't you say that this, there was a bit of a. Not a, not a clearing, but the the trees were a bit further apart here. There are, they they've, closed? No, they've definitely closed in around you. That's why you had to stop okay, cool. before. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, of course. Um, yeah, Rook, using your navigation skills, looking up at the sky through the canopy, uh, you guide Vane on horseback. Um, with the 
trundling of the wheels over the same hard stone and dropping and being lifted up again. It's very uneven, uneven earth here. It is very difficult for you, Rishana, to place a bead even on the trickling water. It's uh, incredibly loud as you're traveling along. Mm -hmm. But with that exceptional survival check, uh, eventually you do bring the cart back onto a much clearer path. Right. And while you're not entirely certain of where the river is, this definitely feels like more of a well-traversed road. Traversed by what, though? Oh, don't um. Um. Uh, while you're uh, sort of, if you're walking ahead or to the sides, um, if you find any uh, sort of uh, not hay, but sort of grasses or something that's that's come out of the ground, could you pop, pick them up and pop them on the on the back of the carriage? Uh, sure. Can I ask Thank why? You. Uh, well, I'm just going to... I have this sack here, and I'm going to pull out a sack. Uh, I was going to fill it up and use it as a, as a pillow for this uh, wooden bench that I'm currently sat on. Because with the bouncing, it kind of makes my tushy hurt. Oh. Um, Rook will, like, pull, pull off his big uh, uh, fur overcoat mm -hmm. and toss it up to uh, Vin. I mean, catches it and realizes just how heavy it is, and actually, the rook has a twenty strength. <laughs> it's 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 pretty bulky. Uh -huh. so it's a pretty hefty hefty piece of uh, fur. Oh, are you, are you sure? I mean, I... sure. I'm just it's not particularly cold at the moment, so. Yeah, very well. But it's if, just if weird we come seeing you without it, if we come across a bear, uh, you might want to give it back. I need to intimidate it. Ah, very well, very well. Um. Thank you. Uh, and I will kind of fold up the thing and feel bad for sitting on it, but I'll sit on it. Alrighty. You do find that the uh, path that you're travelling is quite dry, so tracks aren't exactly the best to be following here, um, but you're presuming, looking at the sky, that you are still travelling south the good chunk of the morning goes by the weather thankfully is nice and sunny and yeah Rook you don't find yourself missing the cloak in terms of temperature at the very least um, mm. you're slowly breaking up into a sweat as the sun dabbles down um, quick, quick question uh, are we on day five? Four. 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 Um, okay, the the woman said that her husband had been gone for like a week and a half, and she said that they would normally have replied, like wrote, written back by now. Mm. Something like that? Yeah. Is it a week and a half, two weeks? Um, can Vane start to keep an eye out while obviously mainly paying attention to the road, but just kind of keep her a kind of passive eye out, I guess, but not necessarily passive. I'm happy to roll for it. Um, just for uh, to a any uh, potential like carriages that have gone off the road, um, scuff marks on on the trail, like signs that there might have been something that happened to a cart or a travelling party that then got moved or whatever. Mm -hmm. Sure. And just from from today, like for the next few days. I mean, you'll be keeping an eye out, but um, yeah. as you are actively doing something else, the, your passive will be reduced slightly. Yeah, that's fine. That's so fine. Like you're, it's you're, mainly you're, just you're, like a. You're, yeah, just if anything glaring sticking on, out. Yeah, keeping the horses on track. Oh, Steph and Tiff, they're professionals. They know it. <laughs> Um, but yeah, just to keep an eye out for, just to, it, it's not, I'm not like going searching, but just if anything seems glaringly kind of, hmm, that's a bit strange. Yeah. Then yeah, that that's all. Uh, apart from that, just happy to be on a relative road again. Okay. Is there anything else the rest of you would like to do? 
Hmm. Oh, uh, let me see if uh, uh, get more replied. Yeah, you take a look at the book, and the bookmark has not jumped up yet. Ah, okay. Um. I'll keep an eye out for Mr. Long Greybeard. Okay. <laughs> I'll once again uh, cast Attacked Evil and Good. Alrighty. Sounds good. Yep. It's your traveling along um, afternoon soon breaks um, with that spell that you're casting Roshana mm -hmm. um, the radius does move with you as you're traversing through the forest mm -hmm. in the back of the cart and every now and then just flitting flitting and fleeting you feel the presence of some creature Passing through the radius. Incredibly quickly though. Less than a millisecond. Sorry, less than a second I should say. Travelling in milliseconds. Oof. They seem to be going in the opposite direction to you, however. Not stopping. Okay. I'll have a bow for now. <laughs> and soon Keep your going. secrets. <laughs> spell fizzles out and we go on to the next half of our journey make, uh, vain mm. to make another land vehicle check please snap um, 14 rook, kind of a day rook you're doing navigation aren't you so survival check please yep yep survival Nice. And Rick and Roshana, who would like to do perception? Who would like to do the d20? Perception. Okay, turn. Oh, sorry. My bad here. All right. Oh, my God. I... No okay. fucking <sighs> way, dude. What would Your be cards. the odds? <laughs> For him, 100%. It's just not right. <sighs> Um, that's the same. Uh, Rook, you begin leading the path for Vane. Uh, Roshana and Kato keep a lookout in the back. Uh, as the sun begins its descent, you feel that the earth becomes a little bit more damp, a little bit more forgiving. Um, Vain, you did find as you were trundling along in the cart but on, over this dry earth that, uh, yeah, your tushy was getting quite sore and you realised that there yeah, was a couple of, couple of twigs in um, Rook's cloak that have poked into you. Yep. Oh, oh I felt it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're, they're, it's a feature. It's a, yeah, it's a feature. <laughs> you have to pay extra for those. Oh my god. Um, as, as the, um, uh, as the temperature drops a little, because obviously it's getting damper and it's getting closer to night, I will um, give Rook its uh, uh, feature-rich cloak. Mm -hmm. Well, thank uh, just so that just so that he doesn't get too cold. Plus, the with the dampness of the the floor, I don't think it will be as um, vicious. Yeah, on my soft skin. Uh, you do find, Rook, that uh, as the day wears on, that the trees start to come a little bit more narrow again. The path is still worn, but um, obviously many people have had to weave th between these trees before just to get to where any, they're going. Any sign of the, uh, the, the river? Not immediately, no. And even as Vashon is keeping an ear out, there's no trickle to be heard. Uh, as you are keeping an eye on the 
road, uh, Rook, you do begin to see grooves again. Okay. Two grooves. Um, running perpendicular to each other. Yeah, cart. Like yeah. cart, uh... And, uh, as you continue on, you see they kind of divert off the path, careening over to the right. Uh, you presume inward in towards the forest? And as you follow the tracks with your eyes, you notice what looks to be the tumbled remains of a wooden cart propped up behind the tree nearby. It's crazy. That's exactly the type of thing I was looking for. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they were driving. <laughs> well, I would... It was just word for word. But... <laughs> Strange. Uh, yeah, I guess as we... Um... As I'm a little bit ahead, I'll oh shit, there's a map. I'll run. Oh no! There we die. Oh my god, guys! I'm just trying to give you a visual. <laughs> <laughs> Never trust the GM. <laughs> a black dragon hidden somewhere in here, and two owlbears. Sorry, Rick, you were saying. Um. Yeah. Can I? Can I take a look around to see if there's anything trying to remain unseen? Uh, sure. Give me a perception check. I will. And you know what? I'll guide myself. Whereabouts are we, just so I can... Yeah, you're roughly there now where you're standing. Are we going, going south to north, yeah? Yep. Uh, okay. Very nice. Um, Nothing out looking at you right now. Uh, The path seems to be going like this. And the path goes round to this way, but the uh, tracks are careening around this way. Hmm. Did we come up from down where the, where you started the arrows? Yep. I, I feel yeah. like we so might have stopped good. like somewhere around here. Because probably pointing out the garage. So, uh, do you follow Round to where the tracks are going. Uh, I, I think as we're passing the uh, broken cart, I want to quickly take a look through it to see if there's any like still good planks or or wheels or, or spokes horses. that we can just. Mm -hmm. No, I'll I'll give up on the horses. We already got perfectly good horses. Okay. I said uh, corpses. Oh, I thought you said horses. <laughs> I was like, I don't know if that's the play. Uh, give me an investigation check, please. I will. I'll give you one of those. Tiff and Tiff need a, need a couple of new friends. Guidance. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, no. Okay. Oh, <laughs> okay. Um, 25. As you're looking over the cart itself, it seems to have been smashed. Um, there are a couple of planks of wood that are salvageable. Yes. Uh, mm. the, the wheels themselves though, are fucked. They are... Spokes have been dragged out and chipped into pieces. Oh, wow. Uh, any idea what hit it? Like, is there, like, claw marks, or is it just it was hit by some form of blunt, Bible. blunt force? Uh, it seems more like blunt force. Okay. Um, just... Uh, do you remember? Did that lady that was looking for a husband? Did she say at all what they were car like? What they were? What cargo they had? Or was it just that she she didn't really care about the cargo? He'd just gone missing. Uh, she didn't really say. She said that um, he was a carpenter and he was going down with the group to help fix the bridge. Yeah. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Okay. Um, can is there any? From, uh, actually, I just said, I'll ask Rook. Um, Rook, is there uh, any car uh, carpenter's tools or um, any anything left, cargo-wise, on on that uh, uh, car carriage uh, mess? Is there? I don't think so. You don't see any, no. Not that I can see, but uh, perhaps on up ahead, there might be more. Oh yes. Push on up. Okay. You walk forward into this little clearing here. 
Okay. And, um... Fragments of... Uh... Notice that this certainly was a cart with wheels. Uh, the tracks we've been following continue onward. Uh, uh Rook, you're up ahead. Yeah, yes. Yes. Past a few more <laughs> Just... trees into what looks to be like a larger clearing. As you approach... Um... A uh, question. Sorry, do we the car, the carriage that we're on is it able to get through this bit relatively it is. easily? Yeah. Okay. I just wasn't sure if we wanted to kind of drop off for a minute, but okay, we'll carry on. Okay. And uh, Rook, you see before you what looks to be the remains of an abandoned camp. Um, you see burnt out campfire, a couple of tents. Um. Large holes torn the tarp of the tents, and another cart has been toppled and smashed. All right. Hello? Hello? Sorry, my Discord just, like, I could hear you, but it disconnected and, like, rebooted. That was weird. I'll, uh, cast Shillelagh on my staff. And go up and just start gently pushing the tent over and see the inside. Mm -hmm. I should also mention that I'm staying by the cart, just to keep an eye out. Okay, if you could just pull yourself onto the map as well, please, so I know where everyone is. Okay, uh, we parked the cart around here, right? Uh, no, no, we're still on it. Or, oh. oh, oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we're kind of taking it off and we can just do a loop around. Alrighty. Uh, Rook, you poke past the tarp and look underneath. There is nothing inside. Just a bit of um, churned up earth. Uh, I'll go around the whole camp then and start uh, seeing if I can put together maybe how long ago it Left, kick up the uh, ash in the fire pit to see if there's any still there, mm -hmm. or even any indication of what actually attacked this camp. Yeah, uh, give me an investigation check, please. Uh, yes, if I'm there, mm -hmm. uh, let me just double check those. Yes, I see. Um, can I, uh Drop down off, damn it! Drop down off the cart for a second and just kind of walk to here and cast detect magic. Sure. And you are. Okay, keep that up. Stupid uh, description purposes. Right, because <clears throat> you're looking around, um, you kick at the ash in the fire and it is cold, cold and damp and wet. Um, as you're looking over the different tents and the cart itself, you notice that across the tents themselves, these holes look to be like, torn by a claw or something. Torn mm. open. Uh, but it's only as you're kind of looking at the ground around you, do you see handprints and finger marks in the ground. Any, uh, dragging any like okay before being lifted off the ground entirely. Uh, in a particular direction, seems to be a bit all over the place. Um, so I'll go like this now. Uh, judging by the finger marks, sorry, uh, some go off this way, some go off this way, one goes off this way. Whoever were here were attacked by something with claws and dragged away. It was like the Albez you had seen? Or... Uh, are they, is it similar in size to the uh, Albear? Uh, you don't see any Albear tracks, um, but what you do see are much larger tracks. Like broad footed Ooh. paws. The claws are a lot shorter. Um, 
that they seem to have gathered up around this camp. Collected the there humans was... here, and uh, the humans like drag their fingers in the ground as they are being pulled away. So you said they were oh. pulled in three different directions, yeah. Yep. Um, uh, can Rook see crack? Like, so um, there was more than three um, monsters mo mo of these creatures, whatever they are. Um, it, was, look... it was like a group of them. I've given you a lot okay. of information for one check. <laughs> Oh, I mean, uh, I can sort of uh, vaguely look from this direction. Sure. Because um, uh, it works up top, up top there. Um, you see that they're being pulled up in three different shape. directions. But mm. as you're looking around, you do see more tracks around this way. There. Okay. Did I do like investigation? Around here. So. Okay. Even here. If you're looking around, that is. Yeah, mm -hmm. 22 investigation. Yep. Um, okay. I'm just saying the direction of the fingerprints are like yeah. going around this way. Yeah, yeah, that's what. So what I what I mean kind of is um so obviously you've as you as you said that you've got some going off here, some going off here, some going off here. I wasn't sure if there was um sort of encroach marks, so there maybe are, like a group of all around. Five, five or six of them, yeah, so and then they just kind of picked one each and took it in a different direction. Yeah. Okay. No problem. Okay. Cool. Uh, hmm. Can I look at this log? Uh, sure. Thanks. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> log. <laughs> fungus? Question mark? <laughs> uh, you give me an investigation check for a fungus if you like. I would like to do a fungus check. Okay. Uh, investigation, not nature. Investigation. If, to see if there's anything first. Okay, yeah. So, nineteen. Uh, you're looking on the log, and if you lift it up, do you want to? I I, I will lift it up. Yeah, you do see a couple of uh, what looks to be like dead men fingers. Ooh, I will take one or two. Yep. Um, and pocket those. Those are the name of actual fungi, if anybody's confused. Oh, I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, not, not, not the people Gray that were fingers. in the tents. Yeah. <laughs> I sometimes go mushroom hunting, so... Ooh. Uh, I'm gonna make Jeez. a new thing here. Uh, so dead man fingers. I'll take three... Yeah, how many, vaguely? Can I take three and there'll still be some left over? Sure. Or if not, I'll take two. Lovely. Herbs. Thank you. Um, and then, yeah, I will just uh, keep my detect magic up and stand around, keeping an eye out just in case we're the next meal. Mm -hmm. What do you guys like to do? Uh, I am going to cast uh, Speak with Plants. Okay. And uh, just ask uh, to the like the, the nearby uh, trees and, and and plants specifically like around the camp in the cart. Mm -hmm. This camp where they lit this fire, how long ago was it that it stopped that the people were moved from here by a large creature? Uh, plant replies. <laughs> Um, over a dozen suns ago. Mm. Uh, the creatures that did this are they uh, are they native to here, or did they are they a new addition? They are not welcome. Mm. I'll look to the other the the rest of the group. It was a dozen mm -hmm. suns ago that it happened, so it was a while. And the creatures oh. here are not welcome in the forest. Are they bestial, or do they look like an old man with a big beard? <laughs> uh, the, the, the creatures, were they a beast, a monstrosity, some other type of creature? 
Do you know? Um, other. Other. Their essence is familiar, but also twisted. Is there an old man? Long white beard. Don't know if you know that of any frame of reference. Is he part of this group? Is he wanted? Is he allowed? There is a humanoid who is accepted. Hmm. You need to remember, like, three cents each. Yeah. It's kind of like the essence that they're, that they're getting off of yeah. the people in the forest. Don't these trees have eyes? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, that, oh, I don't like that. You said that. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, Rook, do they? Um, this this old man could he be like you, and uh, that he can change into animals? Could he be the the this guardian that was mentioned? The humanoid. Are they? Uh... Do they protect this forest? Yes. Okay, you can take our food. That's it. Um, is it the forest that like takes our food, or is it <laughs> the interlopers? It's really gonna color my opinion of these interlopers. <laughs> you, you feel that even as you're speaking, the the plants are. Confused? Confusion. And they, we're, we're, they reply neither. Uh, a third party. Ominous. You've never seen a tree do that kind of dog kind of tilt head, but it did. It's like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> it sways a certain way. You think it's yeah, the yeah. yeah. Rook, as you're standing there, um, you're chatting away to the trees and you see a familiar shape out of the corner of your eye. Uh, deep red skin. Glowing pink nose. Long black hair. There you go. And she disappears. Do, do, do I recognize them as a particular individual? Yes, you do. Uh... As I check my notes. <laughs> Someone very familiar to you who you should not be seeing. Rook lore. Uh, as in someone that uh, is not supposed to be alive? Yep. Uh, Rook just starts sprinting in that direction. Mm -hmm. oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I see Rook has chosen the fuck around option. Quick, guys, it's Rook's turn. Hooray! <laughs> Ran after him. <laughs> um, Wait, where are you? Oh, no. Uh, oh, jeez. Uh, yeah. The dilemma. Uh, stay with the cart, or... Uh, well, someone needs to stay with the cart. Um, I can... Sure, I'll, I'll stay. Just get him back. Are you sure? <laughs> yes. I'd say I'd like to take the dash action. Yeah, okay. <laughs> And Vane, I need you to give me a deck save, please. No. Uh, deck save. I mean, I have any save. It's pretty good. Yeah, oh, that'll fine. do. You watch as um, as you're passing by this tree here. Don't know if you, you can't see that. That's great. I cannot see that. As you're passing by Where? this tree here, the okay, uh, earth begins here. to. <laughs> The earth begins to crumble beneath you. Oh, oh, um, like a nut? Can I? Is it jumpable or is it? Um... Uh, no, literally, as you're running across it, so you make it to the other side. Oh, okay, I see. Right, yeah, I see. Okay. Um, I kind of wait to stop, wait to hear the crumbling stop, and then I kind of look back over to see Roshana like there. <laughs> um, Lovely. <laughs> uh, kind of awkward. <laughs> um, I, I'll get him back. Okay. 
You and better. then I I turn and I'll kind of see if I can spy Rook. Okay. Yep, he's just ahead. Hello. Rook and, and Sylvan is yelling out. I don't know what kind of trickery this is, but if you're going to look to curry favor, I would not take on that form mm -hmm. and continue into the uh, into the forest and yeah. see if he can get a beat on something. I have Rook. no idea what he says. <laughs> Rook! He has, uh, with a sort of snarl on his head. Yeah, it's behind you this time. Uh, like back towards Vane. Yep. I'll I'll run over to Vane, put a hand on his shoulder, and say, "Where is that coming from?" Could I hear? I just couldn't understand it, but could I hear? Nope. Uh, where, where's where's what coming from? Someone's calling my name. Well, we we were shouting uh, at you because you ran off. Uh, What's wrong? Where have you gone? Where's... Can I? Is there any particular direction it's coming from? It seems to be coming from... Let me get the right... Hello? Yep. Round here. Back towards the camp again. I sprint and dash back into the camp. Yep. yep. Uh, just give me um... a deck save, please. Oh. Uh... Um... Oh, I need to check something real quick. Uh... Okay, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, you feel the ground fall, uh, collapse beneath you as you're running across this little patch of ground here. And I, I, do I fall like deep into something, or do I just follow? Uh, you fall deep. Yeah, it's, it's like a five foot pit that you've fallen into with the earth uh, collapsing on top of you as well, not suffocating you, but collapsing. <laughs> Um, can I... Um, how do you say about five foot deep, yeah? Where does the pit start? Is I'll it like this it next one? Yeah. Uh, the first one, that, first one that you uh, ran over. Okay. Then... Oh. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I don't know why. That, was, that was really weird. You drew a red <laughs> square and everything went grey. And or like... then <laughs> this green. one... Here, that rock fell into. Okay. Lovely. Um, can I um, pull up beside the pit mm -hmm. and try and um, just like d d uh, not dig? And you said that some uh, like soil and stuff had fallen on top of him as he fell. Can I try and like give an arm to help him out at all? Uh, it's pretty far. Uh, cause, like, you oh, have yeah. to, yeah. Yeah, I'm just thinking, like, if, is it, f is he standing five feet, or is he... No, no, he's, like, like five feet down, down, and then underneath a bit more soil. Oh, okay, yeah. right, um, well, I guess he's dead then, so that's true. Uh, the, the, the voice I can hear, is it coming from outside of the pit? It is, Back towards the, the game. pit. Yep. Um, um, I will, uh, sorry, go ahead. Kato. Yes. Oh, fuck. Oh, wait, oh, no. Kato? <laughs> it took me a second. Wait a minute. Oh no. Sora? Where are huh? you? Wait, Sora. what is Kato? Oh no, this is so tough. I recognize this voice. Yes, you do. Oh no. Roshana. Yes. You smell I'm scared. sewage. No! <laughs> I'm so upset. No! The, sen <laughs> the sensation what? of not being able to breathe. You're, you're grabbing your neck. You find you find your breath becomes faster and faster and faster. You're too late, Vane. <coughs> Alright. Um, does that sound like Monty? 
It sounds like someone much closer to you from behind. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. Vane turns around. And... Does a 19 hit Rook? Oh my god! Uh, a, nine, a 19 just hits Rook. Just hits. Okay. Um, I'd like That's everyone good. to roll me initiative, please. I was literally just about to say something as well. Oh, Gosh, damn. No. Oh. I was about to say, Vane turns around. If he sees his dad, he casts slow. <laughs> 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 You know how long it took me to get to fucking Colburn? Swear to God. I think it's uh, lovely that all you guys have parental trauma and I'm just here with sewage water. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Remember that time you almost drowned in sewage. <laughs> to be honest, it would have been great if your parents had just shown up and been like, oh, hey, we love to see you. <laughs> everyone, everyone else is like, yeah, you're, you're, you're real, you're real parents. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh. oh. Uh, yeah. a really quick uh, DM, what, how much damage did I take? I'll tell you once in a second, once I can add everything to the... Oh no... <laughs> oh, I do not like that... Oh, I tactically no. rolled really low, um, so that I can <laughs> suffer. <laughs> quick, oh, open shit, image in new tab, what is it? Uh, I mean... Ooh. I mean, with that role, Fane is just a masochist. Uh, Doc Shukas, I think is the word. <laughs> oh, so. Okay. Um, what is that? You take 11 points of slashing damage. Sheesh. And I need you to make a constitution saving throw, please. Uh, oh my gosh. What is that? Is that like a crab bug monster with titty arms? Mutated lice. Mm. Well, we couldn't. We uh, been teasing the face shit all, <laughs> all two weeks. Uh, Constitution, that's very good. I think it was less us and more Rye that was teasing the face. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> that, that, that's yeah. That's what I meant. Uh, oh. Top of the round, um, Rook. As you're looking around, you see something crawl up from underneath the earth. You just see this yeah, flea, almost lice-like uh, creature. Itty-bitty antennas and little pincers coming out. You see it expertly scurries through the soil before it you know, just snips at you and begins to try and pull you back down into the soil further. I need you to make a strength saving throw, please. Oh, that's not ideal. It's good that I gave you your oh, no. cloak back. Yeah, okay, he begins burrowing down. Alrighty. Um, all around you hear <laughs> really high pitched shrieking noise. Kato, beside you, you hear Sora! Kato? As jumping down from the tree beside you, you hear that <laughs> this clickety clackety sound of uh, this little buggy type of creature. And in the direction of where you uh, swore you heard your father, Vane. Also, you hear a mm. as the creature drops down from another tree. And it doesn't look like my father. Nope, just, it just sounds like it. Sounds like it. Okay, that's good. Uh, I might struggle to stab my father in the throat. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, and then sensation, Rashana. You feel as the cre this creature jumps down. It's not doing shit. Come on. Oh, <laughs> well, that's I'm... lucky for Rashana. No <laughs> <laughs> one's just like, now nah, you're good. The creature jumps down. Sewage so water's bad its, enough. It's got its two pincers towards you, almost as if, you know, you know if you look at someone mm -hmm. put your thumb over their face. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay. So, against... Sorry. Roll 20 has been a bumhole. Against you, Vane. 
Uh, that's an eight. I think that's okay. Father! Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Uh, that is a 23 against Rishana. It hits. Oop. And that is... Um, oh, again. Uh, uh, let me just fix math. this so it... It's nine points of one. slashing damage. I need you to make a con save, please. Okay. Constitution save. No. Oh, oh my no. god. <laughs> you are having a polar day, Jesus. Okay. Uh, Roshana, you are paralyzed. Oh. 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 And up against... What a difference three hours and 12 minutes makes. Up against you, Kato. <gasps> uh, that is a 19 to hit. Roll number 15. Uh, yeah, that, uh, that'll do it. Okay. Uh, rolling damage. That is six points of slashing damage. I need you to make a con save, please. Uh, I will uh, I'll use one of these. Okay. Uh, so bullets... Okay, two. so there's only two points. Can't save. And just an FYI, Ruck, what is your constitution modifier? Uh, my modifier... Strange question to ask. Plus three. Okay. It's almost like something about suffocating. Yeah, you've got three rounds basically until you start suffocating. Mm. Ah! Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that Difficult is to breathe underground. The creepy buggy was turned. Uh, Kato, it's now your go. What would you like to do? Roshana's in trouble. I can't leave the horses. You can't see that I'm in trouble, though. Can I not? Yeah. You might be able to hear it. You're in the but... fishing, right? You might be hearing it. She's choking on sewage water. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we we all we all know that sound very well. So, uh, just confirm, DM. I uh, don't see her. Uh, it's been a little bit difficult to say you've got quite a bit of brush in front of you, and you've also got a buggy in front of you as well. Slight distraction. Just Slight. a little bit. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, okay. I'm sturdy, it's fine. She's a big lady. Yeah. I know, but <laughs> you are paralyzed. Yeah. Ow. Boss, a little bit of paralysis for a real life. Right. Let's just uh, make it a little bit spicy. Alright, uh, here we go. Pull out, pull out swords. Okay. Give it a, a one. That hits. Nice. All right. Um, mm, uh, two. Oh, that definitely is Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> um, Okay, um... That's for the wielder. Uh... Okay, uh, I will use the 40 audience feature, and you can give me a strength saving throw. Oh, okay, interesting. Ooh la la. Uh, ooh, that's dog shit. That is... Six. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, a wide cone of seawater goes spraying out as I uh, shift the blade forward, uh, and it and it is thrown thirty feet backwards. Nice. Okay. Uh, so let's measure. Yeah, I'd say it crashes into this tree here, and that is twenty-five. So let's say roll me two d6, please. Okay. Lucky I took the dead man's fingers off that log, otherwise they might have been crushed by that. Mm -hmm. okay. 
I'm helping nature. Ten. Ten points. Nice. You watch as you, with a flurry, bring the helm helmsman's rudder upwards, and it just a spray of seawater goes and pushes this little creature backwards. Its little flea-like pincers flaying out as it bashes up against the uh, tree, and it takes ten points of bludgeoning damage. It is holding just about, but you see... <laughs> like, arm up against the tree <laughs> trying to catch its breath. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck just happened? Looks like Frendo bit off more than he could chew. Uh, right. I will... I will... Uh, I still have my uh, offhand. Okay, go for it. I will press the attack and run right up to him. Just go in for the old nail right to the tree. Okay, go for it. Uh, yeah, sure, let's go into this one. Oh, nice, there, yeah, uh, skewer this little creature onto the tree. <coughs> it is dead. Alright, um, doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm just measuring my movement, 25. Okay, um, now would you say I can see Roshana's in trouble? Yeah, you can see that she is just kind of like locked up in place. And this little creature has like put its two pincers almost around her neck, not touching, ironically. But you see that Roshana herself is holding onto her neck and doesn't seem like she can breathe. Okay, um, is she grappled? Uh, you don't know. Fair enough. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, oh, that's not good. Not quite. Okay, uh, I'll just action surge and dash behind uh, behind this uh, guy. One second. With the helmsman's rudder, is it is it an action to use the uh, feature it, or? It is an action or on a hit. Ah, okay, lovely. Yes. Good stuff. See, so, yeah. action surge. Go for it. If, uh, yeah, I just I just use it to, to dash. I wouldn't have been oh, able to okay. make it otherwise. Yeah. Yeah. So that's uh that's all for me. No worries. Okay. Uh, next up we have Ruck. You are currently being dragged into the soil. Into the soil. The sun above is escaping your vision. Um, what would you like to do? Yes. Yes. Is uh, I'm being dragged because uh, they're in me. The uh, creature is trying to like pull you down. Yeah, and they're burrowing as well to open up okay. the space to bring you down. Uh, I am going to use my action to wild shape into a giant goat. Okay. <laughs> That's not where I thought you were going with that. I'm going to be perfectly honest. Uh, what's the plan of the giant goat? Just up there. <laughs> Um, I become a large creature, which I'm hoping impairs the ability to push me forward, and I use cool, cool goat-like legs, uh, like goats because they are, uh, uh -huh. to attempt to sort of, like, <laughs> find whatever purchase I can and kick myself above. Okay, um, as Mr. Giant Goat, give me a strength check, please. Ah, yes. That's ridiculous looking. Goat. <gasps> Not quite good. Like, you're up over the soil that the uh, creature had just burrowed beneath you. So you're, so you're I, scrambling I up. I, You've got to air. I don't know if this would apply to this, but I'll read it out just in case you think so. Mm. Uh, giant goat, sure-footed. This goat has... Uh, the goat has advantage on strength and dexterity, saving throws met against the effects that would knock it prone. I know this isn't technically prone, but it wouldn't have any effect I mean, sure-footed goats, though, are pretty good at climbing, though, as well. You know what? I'll give you advantage on the check. How about that? Thank you. How's that? My guy! Why? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Aye. 10 of 10 would, would, would go. Um, okay, if you turn on your action, anything good. else? That's my action. Mm. I have a bonus action. Uh, can I can I see the creature beneath me? Um, now that it's seen you turn into a giant goat and is looking back up at you, yes. <laughs> okay. Um... I'm going to I'm going to do something else, which is a little bit on the silly side. Okay. But it's also really fun. 
Um, I will use my bonus action to yet again expand a wild ship. Uh, and this time I will enter starry form archer and a beam of light will just emit from my goat body into the ground. Uh, Sorry, and I will... before this happens, did you use your wild shape, your bonus action to wild shape into the goat? No, I used my action to wild shape. Eh, uh, clever, okay. Because I, I can't use my bonus action to wild shape because I'm not a moon. Sorry, I'm getting really confused here. Use your action to do that, so... I used my I... action to turn into a goat, yeah. and then I tried to get out with my movement. So it would and be then a I used... save and not a check. What is the... Is the... Uh, I think it's the same thing like plus... uh, for giant goat. It's okay. a, it's got a plus three strength and it doesn't have efficiency. Oh, okay. Yeah. Six. Sorry, that's my bad. Um, and so yeah, neither using... do I. <laughs> goat doing the archer. Okay. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Please explain again. Yes. <laughs> Just so I can visualize yes. it. So I, so I, I, I turn it like I'm a normal, well, not a normal goat. I'm a giant goat that bursts his head out of the ground. <laughs> uh, and then his, his white fur shifts into a dark, uh, a uh, misty, shadowy black, and then little motes of stars begin to appear, and then they start to uh, light up and all converge into a single point that blasts into the ground. Uh, as I uh, make an attack roll, uh, where is my archer beam? There it is. Fifteen hits. <laughs> Genuinely, one of the Jesus weirdest Christ. attacks I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Spectacular, but fucking strange. <laughs> Welcome to the House of the Star Druid. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. So we, I would like we, to become Starry Goat and shoot lightning into the floor. Yeah, well, I mean, just just wait until I'm able to fly. Mm. Oh, we're so screwed. Okay. <laughs> fear. Big fear. So yeah, you just see this creature look up at you and its buggy eyes go wide as... Right into it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. And, and then I guess everyone else just Sorry, you because cut the audio uh, uh, I guess everyone else hears and I'm not going to do it because the audio would be mm -hmm. horrendous but one of the goat screams that everyone knows so well oh. um, as, as Rook tries to get people's attention because someone's okay. trying to bury him alive Yep oh, Rook is a swifty, alrighty um, <laughs> That's it yep. we'll go on that's, to... that's everything Roshana, next. Uh, Roshana, I need you to make a constitution saving throw, please. Right. Well, that's better. Yeah, and as you're clutching your neck, your <gasps> air enters your lungs again. You're no longer paralyzed. Unfortunately, oh. that is your turn. Mm -hmm. So we'll I'm... go on to Vane next. Good You've just seen this, this clip, 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 clip buggy is going after you. What would you okay. like to do? I will... And you just seen... <laughs> and the pit beside you. <laughs> um, what is that? So if I want to draw my dagger, it's just... If I just want... I mean, if you just want to draw... If you want to draw your dagger as part of a hit, that is just one action. Okay, cool. Um, I will draw my dagger. Um, is it a chitinous monster? Shit, chitin? Chit, chit, chitinous? Chitin. Chitin. Yeah, I think Ch it's kindness. I know if you're not sure. Okay. Well, does it look like it's got any soft squidgy bits? Not really. Okay. I'm going to fucking stab it in between <laughs> its... Uh, I mean, that was going to be the option, regardless. Uh, in between, like, its little uh, antennae on its nearest mouth. If it has uh, any antennae near its mouth. Yeah, it does. Cool. I'm going to plop my dagger in there. Okay. Uh, which doesn't have the venom on it, which is a shame, but what can you do? Uh, that's a nine. Yeah, and you swing towards it, you just watch as this little bug just dances out of the way, clipping its little pincers towards you. Okay, I will say, how dare you use my father's voice? And then I will kind of turn a little bit, so I'm facing like... And I hear, um, so I can see a goat head, mm -hmm. and I'll say, "Climb, goaty goat, climb, become the goat," and <laughs> give, uh, <laughs> uh, and give uh, Rook bardic inspiration. Alrighty. 
Uh, so you have, you have one Bardish and Sparach. I get it. Anytime, buddy. Unless I'm out of Bardic Inspiration, in which case... Uh, shit. <laughs> uh, right, so that's my action, bonus action. I'm not going to move because I don't know if there's another pit around here. Um, I'll just turn back and face my lovely friend here. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm going to stab in the face again tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow. tomorrow. I'm stab you in the face. Tomorrow. Okay, Roshana, jumping out of the tent nearby, mm-hmm. you see another one of these flea like creatures just bounces in your direction. And the same for you, Kato. And that's reveal. Use the. Oh, for God's sake. I hate it here. I want to go home. We do too. I want to go home. <laughs> we do too. <laughs> Less people steal our food at home. Let's go back to Roshana's house. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we can pick up all our money. One is going to jump towards Roshana. Mr. Pinky is going to jump towards Kato. Okay. Uh, we'll do the one against Vane first. Hey. Hi. Uh, that's a seven. I am... Uh, that... That's not going to hit. Okay. Against uh, the giant goat. That is a 21. Yep. AC 11 on the goat. Oh my god. Man. Um, That's slightly less than normal. I need the goat to make a uh, con save, please, as well. Hmm. Yes. This could be problematic. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's, that's rough. But. Hey. <laughs> Since it's one <laughs> bulky ghost. Okay. Uh, no issue on the paralysis front, but you do take, excuse me, seven points of slashing damage. Uh, still a goat. Still a goat. <laughs> Good. Okay. Uh, the orange one up against Roshana. Mm-hmm. That is a 21 to hit again. Roll another 17. That hits. Okay. Stop it. Where'd that go? That's quite I, just, I just threw it across the room. Is a giant um, goat a large creature then? It hmm? is a large creature, isn't it? Uh, I was. Just, uh, I know. I, I was. I was just wondering about move, like if it was trying to pull you down, if that like you know, has an effect. Okay. Um, that is seven points of slashing damage, Roshana. All right. I need you to make a con save as well again, please. Hmm. You are paralyzed once more. I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh. <laughs> gosh. Uh, they like to paralyze me. They like paralysis indeed. I'm just going to pop this little token on there. I don't know what it means, but yeah. There we go. I mean, it's paralysis now. It is paralysis now. Uh, the pink one up against Kato. Mm -hmm. That's a natural 20. Christ. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> okay. Uh. uh... That is 12 points of slashing damage. I'll use my reaction to uh, protect the field. Okay. Come on, sheet, please do your thing. Thank you. It's oh, four. very nice. So you're going to take four points of slashing damage. I need to make a con save, please. Very nice. You're fine. And who hit the green one last? I feel like it was Kato. No one. No, hit I, it. I never, I never attacked oh, it. Oh, no one hit it. Okay. It was, it was, yeah, it was, it was my. Attacking me. Yeah, um, it was my action to get up to it. Okay, if it's was if its eyes were on you, Rishana, it's going to go for you. You're paralyzed, so attacks against you have advantage. I know. Okay. Um. You are very fucking lucky. That was a twelve to hit. That does not hit. Okay. And... Sorry, that was our turn. Uh, that is them. So, we're now up to Kato next. What would you like to do? Um, I'll go after the green one. Okay. The one that's on Shanna's ass. <laughs> Wham. Wah! It hits. Been a nice. Seven, and then... 
Eight. Uh, Jesus Christ, my guy. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, mm. I'm gonna. Oh, this is really questionable. Um, I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put a psionic strike on that. Okay. It's another D8 plus three, please. For an extra seven. Very nice. Uh, and then, uh, double check. Bonus. Um, mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. Um, no worthwhile bonus action, so just offhand. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's go with this one. Sure. Okay. No save. <laughs> Roshana, um, this green bugger that tried to uh, slice into you, just watch as mm -hmm. Kato is beginning to make sh sashimi out of it. You see a couple <laughs> of claws and legs go flying. It is holding on barely by a thread, but it is <laughs> in front of you. <laughs> So it's just the sound of a goat screaming and this guy screaming. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. Okay. Anything else you'd like to do, Kato? Uh... That's all. That's, uh, that's going to be all for me. Oh. Good move, but uh, there's not really an advantage advantageous position. Oh, right here. Next up, we got the goat. What would you like to do? Uh, the goat would like to try to continue their way on. Okay, Hit. give me another strength check with advantage, please. Strength check, strength will... save. It's the same thing for you, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I will use my inspiration. Go for it. Uh, it's a it's a d8, isn't it? Yes. Oh, hey. very Whoop. nice. Yep, and Rook, yeah. you clamber out. Uh, which way do you want to go? Okay, my speed is 40 feet as a goat. Mm -hmm. uh, I will go south. Okay. Um, I assume he gets a, a bop on me. Uh, he does. Let's see if this works. Uh, is a 7? Is an 11? That just hits. Okay. Uh, give me that con save while you're there, please. Uh... Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. That is um, 10 points of slashing damage. Still a goat. You're still a goat. <laughs> you know it. But <laughs> um, <laughs> you're paralyzed down back in the pit. He did back the thing down in the pit. Like... Oh, yes. Yeah. Wait, do that you makes know? sense. Can you part of conspiration on saving throws? I can't remember. Yeah, but, you you oh, but I've already used it. Yeah. I used it to get yeah. out of the pit. Uh, yes, 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 yes. But, so I am oh, yeah. still here, I guess. Wait a second, though. If he hit you before you had to make the save. Uh, before I had to make the save to get out. Um, Basically, didn't he? I, I, he would have uh, had to hit me before I left his range. So it's really down to you whether or not. Uh, uh, I just imagine because like, I I, I guess slumps on top I, I would imagine the strength check was to see if I like able to get out of his range, and yeah. I was, and then he hit me, yeah. and then I I I got the uh, the the bad. Yeah, uh, got the bad. Okay, you're back down in the center again. Down, out. Oh, sorry, sorry uh, where you are right there. Yep. Cool. That's your trying uh, to escape. Well, I'm, I'm paralyzed, and that's me. Okay. Uh, Roshana, you're, we're, we're paralyzed. Please give me a, another con save. It's just enough. You break through the paralysis again. Um, mm -hmm. It's a terrifying feeling of being struck, and then your entire body just seems to seize up. That feeling of drowning um, back in the sewer. You have a mental image of watching your friends as you go beneath the sewer gate. Sewer grate, sorry. Watching your friends in the side before Shale throws you the rope of being pulled under into that, uh, uh, whirlpool. yeah, that whirlpool basically. basically. Mm -hmm. uh, but you are no longer paralyzed. For now. For now. For now. <laughs> For now. Uh, you are paralyzed. Uh, next up, we have Vane. What would you like to do? Hello. I would like to stab a motherfucker in the face. Okay. <laughs> <Go for it. laughs> Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, 
11. That glances off their chitinous form, unfortunately. Damn your chitin shit and shitling! Um, as a bonus action, mm -hmm. I would like to weep gently. Um, I would like to give Rook Parting Inspiration, I guess. Can just if you're paralyzed, yeah, I'd like that. I'll give Rook Parting Inspiration. Okay. Get out of the hole, you're the goat. At least for now. Responds in goat. Ah. <laughs> just a very muted. <laughs> uh quick quick question mm -hmm. um how long is it been, since we arrived at the camp or specifically since uh, uh i cast speak with plants uh how long has it been uh i mean you're talking with them for about a couple of minutes sure and yeah, then yeah. you ran down to chase after a certain someone and you came back up again it's been, say it's been less than 10 minutes maybe Excellent. That's exactly what I need. Okay. And we'll come back to that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if that's everything vain, we'll move on to these little critters yeah. next. Yep, yeah, just don't forget you've got the body shin scratch. Yep. Okay. Okay, a little critters turn again. Uh, one against you, Vane. It's been Hello. like kind of dancing and hopping out of the way and slices towards you. That is a 17 to hit. Oh, it just hits. Right there. And by just, I mean it definitely hits. And that is seven points of slashing damage. I need you to make a a constitution saving throw, please. Make a fart. Sure. <laughs> Uh, Vain, you are um, paralyzed. Day, do you have anything? Yeah, I am. Uh, I've got dark vision. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the one Love against it. you, Rook. This is going to hell in a hand basket. Try and cut into you. Actually, mm, hold on. It is going to spells. burrow further down. Oh no. Oh no. And uh, ghost form has found itself covered in soil once more. Is it pulling me down? Uh, no, it's just literally digging beneath you. Oh, and I'm I and I just you're slipped down. You're down. Yep. Okay. Watch out your sprout roots. Sweet. So am I back in the middle? Uh. Yes, or we'll say. I, just... I think. Or you're like f another five foot down deep. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Um, up against Rashana, the orange one. That is a thirteen to hit. Does not hit. The green one also up against you. Mhm. Mm Natural one. Does not hit. The one against Kedu. Another fucking natural. It's <laughs> <laughs> you, you guys. I'm going home. Okay. Uh, next up, we got Kato. What you want to do, Kato? All right, Mr. Green. Ooh, I might not do it. <laughs> Swing and a miss out of the way. Oh, no. Oh, you, you, you must be... Okay, Clockwork Amulet, come on! Okay, that is a 10 plus your attack, which is a plus... Uh, I get plus 6 on one and plus 5 with... on another. Uh, the rudder is plus 1. I don't think so, no. Oh, wait. That's a good... What? Expression C. Oh, I am a d 
dumb. The other one was going off my strength. Oh, for yeah, some so reason. Uh, okay. Yeah, that, that was really weird. Okay. Uh, yeah, so plus six. Plus six. So that is 16. 16 hits. Okay. Uh, that is against yeah. the green one. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah, just 11. Yep. 11. With a fiery burst, this creature's crispy cricket. Oh, right. That's another one down. Anything else you like to do, kiddo? Um, that's all I got. Oh, right. We go on to Rook next. I need you to make a constitution saving throw, please. Yep, yep, yep. Come on. Goat, who's worse at con than me. 18. Oh, yep, you break through the par uh, the paralysion. Uh, is uh, is that the start of my turn? or the It is the end of your turn, unfortunately. Okay. okay. Uh, and you well, feel then. yourself being covered in soil. Mm -hmm. Conjunctly, we are there. Okay, next we got Roshana. What would you like to do? I will cast Inflict Wounds. Oh, oh okay. Buggy. On the boogie. Yeah, and flick those wounds. Uh, I, I was going to do at second level. Yeah. That's three. Points of damage. Yeah, I... That's the arcane trunk. Yeah. Math. Yep. Better math. math. Yep. Math you... be math hand. Reach forward and just poke it between its eyes and you watch as like a little blister of black pus just bubbles around its face. Oh gross. Shrieks. Grim. Uh, anything else you'd like to do, Shana? Uh, no, that's it. Oh, great. Next up we have Vane. You are currently paralyze. I'd like you to make oh, a con save, please. And that, yep, sorry. that certainly makes it. You're no longer paralyzed. <laughs> Thank you. Good game. <laughs> okay, it is now the creature's turn. I'm gonna try and swipe against you again, Vane. Mm. That is a 15. Yeah. yeah. Do you not have armor? Yeah. I feel like you got more armor the last time we were here. No, yeah, no, I was, I got, I had 14 and now I have now 15. Now you have 15, yep. Yeah. Yeah. So what you've done is you've, you've really cucked me there. <laughs> yay! Wait, I don't know if that's a yay. You just made it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yay! <laughs> but you take eight points of slashing damage. Eight points. Eight. I'm kind of fine with that, as long as I can do what I want to do next time. Okay. Um, the buggy is going to try and swipe at you, Rook. Mm hmm. It's a 23. Hits. Nice. Hits. Goat. Goat. Oh, that is. 10 points of damage. Okay. Uh, I Slashing am damage. no longer a goat. Okay. I don't need you to make a con save, please. Uh, yep. Oh. Uh, I'm... Turning it around, guys. Yeah. You are time not up. paralyzed. Um, just for the record, uh, mm. because I was a goat and a large creature and functionally took up a uh, 10 by 10 by 10 space. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to, I get whenever I revert form, I get to choose which space I'm in. Uh, I am at the furthest space from this creature. Very nice. <laughs> Very good. So I should, I should be as assuming he doesn't have, she should, uh, should be a sorry, assuming he doesn't have reach. Ah, uh, nope. <laughs> You're good. So I, yeah. Alrighty, you can move yourself over to the corner. Bah. Bah. Alrighty. Uh, next up, the orange one against you, Roshana. <laughs> Natural one. Against that Kato. That is a, that's a 10. Well, that's kind of poopy. 
Um, Kato, it's your, now your go. What would you like to do? All right, Pinky. Now you get yours. Pinky and the brain, 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 or, brain, or, brain, or, brain, or, why? Or, or, why would you say that? that? Oh, well, there we go. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, pink, eh, 11, 11 eight, 19. 19. 19 points of damage. Um. Okay. Okay. You know, yeah, yeah, offhand. Here we go. Offhand. 11. Yeah, again, more sashimi, more legs flying everywhere, and you just see, like, this little creature just hopping on one leg and looking at you with this bizarre look in its eyes of, is this how I go? <laughs> is there anything else you'd like to do? What, what events has led me to? <laughs> has led me to this moment. Um, yeah, that's pretty much, yeah, that's my, that's my three. Well, alrighty. And Rook, what would you like to do? Uh, Rook will use his mo movement, if he can, to climb over here. Okay. Uh, just give me um, a strength, please. Yes. Ooh. Hmm. Strength check or strength save? Or... Uh, uh, they're both the same, so I just same. want to know yeah, which one to click on. I think it's check for this. Cool. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dude, does that make me slip back down? You've no, got no. bardic inspiration. I, I don't know if it'll do anything here. I don't think it, it will. But... It doesn't make you slip back further, but you, you don't really move. Okay, where? what can I see from here? You can see the tree. Are you no longer a goat? You can see... No, I'm not a, I'm not a goat. Oh. You can see so, Vane. Okay. I can see Hello. Vane, and I, but I can't see the creature behind Vane. Uh, no, it's a little bit shorter. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do, um, because I know there's a creature in the soil beneath me, I will click on it again, but one of the things that I can do with Speak With Plants is I can turn Ordinary Terrain, where there are plants present, into Difficult Terrain. Okay. Ooh. Interesting. Um, so I'm going to attempt to turn the uh, soil beneath me uh, and uh, like between me and him into difficult terrain so hopefully he can't get to me again. Okay. I'm just going to be like, plants, keep them away, please. <laughs> um, Help. Um, and then uh, can I... Mm, 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 uh, I will... Fuck it, I will just cast... Um, uh, after I do that, I will also cast Entangle um, on, like, this whole area here. Um, okay. I don't think I can get, I don't think I can get it to go beneath to, like, actually hold him, but if he comes up into it, he will likely be stopped again. Alrighty. Good to know. Uh, and that's my turn. Alrighty, just throw Entangle up there as well, please. Yes, I will. Alrighty. And with that, uh, it's Rashana's go. What would you like to do? I, I, will, I will hit this little fucker with my great axe. Ooh, go for it. I will not! Oh my god! Ah, oh, jeez. Yeah, just as you're swinging the great axe down, it just dances off to the side. Anything else you'd like to do? Any bonus action? Not anything right now. No. Yeah, okay. If that's the case, we'll move on to Vane. Would you like I would to like to go slow, please. Okay. Six it's a 40 foot cube. And that's the cube I put on there, I think. Okay, and it's the wisdom saving throw. Isn't and it? yeah, and it will just be the, the four remaining monsters, not my friends. Because oh. I feel like that would be kind of rude. <laughs> okay, so for the red one, that is. I don't have anything to wisdom. That is 19 on the red one. Oh, fuck you. I'm sorry! That's just, that's just rude. On the purple one, that is natural one. 
Uh -huh. Purple is... Nope. Write that down. And natural 20 on the orange. Yeah, and for the pink one, <laughs> that is a 9. Okay, so 2. That will be... Alrighty. Anything else you'd like to do, Bing? Uh, nothing too much. I will give Russian Roshana robotic inspiration. Okay. Roshana. Oh, Roshana, beat it with the hammer. Oh, sorry, Roshana, I didn't mean to draw that square on you. Fine. You now have a green square. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> that, that's for yourself. Okay. Uh, yep. Anything else, Bing? Uh, that, that's, uh, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's it, yeah. Okay. Now we got the chattering critters form. The red one against you, Vane. Tell it to piss off. That's a natural one. Was that a natural one, sorry? Yes, it was. Yeah, that doesn't hit. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, the purple one. Oh, no, it's hit me once. No. It has to come up. That's five. And then it's going to try and. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, come up now. So it needs to make a strength save for the entangle. Uh, yes. Okay. What Rook's done here is he's given you a Chinese, like, you know, those, like, finger trap puzzle things. <laughs> and you have uh, to work your way. That is a your move bug uh, fails. So that is. Is it restrained? Sorry? I'm gonna... It is restrained, yes. Oh, Jesus, what have I done? Sorry. It it, it is restrained and it can use... Can you... To attempt to break that. Uh... Get rid of... Flipping... Buggery. That... Grasping weeds, 20 foot radius... I'm gonna use the web just so duration. it show it's restrained. Okay. Strength. Yeah, so it can can I move uh, the one against Rashana <laughs> is that a nine to hit? Does not hit. Does not hit. Okay, but that one hits Kano. <laughs> um, is there any negatives to the? I'm asking is there any negatives to the? Um, that is a twenty-two oh, Kato. That's kind of a negative, yeah. <laughs> I... <laughs> yeah, that 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 is. Okay, and that is oh, four points of smashing damage. <laughs> I rolled the I rolled the minimum. I mean, I just... good. Keep that up. And yep, you that's a that's a good thing. Alrighty, uh, that is there. Go, Kato. It's now your turn. What would you like to do? Uh, I like to prepare tomorrow's meal, so here we go. Ooh. I've already had sashimi today. I'm fucked. Up. Or I won't. Stop sounding confident when you go into the first attack. Wait till after. <laughs> wait till the second. Wait, one. wait, wait. wait. <laughs> yeah, and with another. Oh, not with a burst of fire this time. With a spray of ocean water, this bug just like its parts just flitter across the uh, the camp. That one is dead. Water in the plants, baby. Water in the plants. All right. Uh, I'll then zip towards this one. All right. And swung. And yep, that certainly hits. The six uh, we're damage. gonna we're gonna add a blip. Okay. Well, another psionic strike die. Five. Pee pee power. Five points of damage. Very nice. <laughs> I'm just else waiting for Kato to kill all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else you'd like to do, Kato? That is everything. Okay. Uh, next up, we've got Rook. What would you like to do? You're I attempt to the leave pace. the hole. Okay. Give me another strength check, please. No. Is there anything else you'd like to do? Why can't I be strong? <laughs> Why are you, strong? you have other attributes, my guy. I know I do. <laughs> but, but I want them all. 
I don't know where anything is. <laughs> can I can I see the creature in front of me? Yeah, it's been lifted up now by the roots. But, uh... All right. Okay, he's restrained. Yep. He's more than five feet away. Mm -hmm. He's gonna get guiding bolted. Go for it. Oh shit, it's on. He's got a minus two to his AC as well. Oh, you didn't you know that he said, but yeah, go for it. I tried. Oof. And damn. And yeah, then it I'm is gonna... now glowing. Then so I bonus try. action use Archer to fire my little hand beam. <laughs> go for it. Yep. Perish. <laughs> it's dead. It's dead. It's dead. <laughs> just love the perish. fucking idea that we're all out here dealing with things and you just hear perish. <laughs> like from this <laughs> hole. Hole in the ground. <laughs> it's filled with bushes and fucking... <laughs> you hear perish from the thicket and then you see like a light show go off. <laughs> Okay, plants, I need you to make some footholds that I can stand on. Please, plants, I don't ask for much. You're killing yeah. the DM, stop. Oh, I love the fact that you had like everything the plants and then the roots from the entangle just. <laughs> Wrapped around this creature and then mm. die, die, die. <laughs> Irish. Parrot. Irish. Irish. That's gonna be a meme. I'll, uh, I'll hit it again with the great axe. Go for it. Thirteen. Uh, the orange one is not slowed. Unfortunately, that misses. Good damn it. Damn it. Oh, the inspiration. Oh, you do have party inspiration. Oh shit. You yeah, can use it if you want to here, right? or you can save it. Yep. Use it. It would be a shame it to waste. Go for it. A slashing. A slashing. Very nice. It's holding on barely, but you've just like oh. knocked off one of its massive pincers onto the, onto the side. It should just die. <laughs> true. Just Big die. true. <laughs> okay. die. Anything, anything else you want to do? No, that's it. Okay. Uh, Vane, you have another crispy fella in front of you. You haven't hit him once. Alright, there's no need for that. That was a little cruel. <laughs> Luckstone's only ability checks. Well, fuck it, we're doing it live. Ah, oh, dagger. Ah! Uh... Yep, that hits. Roll damage. Yeah, I would like to... Psychic blades while I'm at it. Go for it. Uh, ignore the poison. So six plus three D three D six. Yeah, I'm just working out where the three is. Ten. Lovely. Sixteen damage. Sixteen damage. And I call his mother a bitch. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Mother's a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and while the, yeah, you just to shank this creature and pushing forward with your mind you watch his eyes grow wider and wider and kind of looks at you like the fuck yeah you heard fucking okay. paralyzed me three times anything else you'd like to do <laughs> uh there's bone section and action so i think that is it okay but thank you for asking it is now the titanless creature's turn I have an itch on my ankle. The orange Make one is looking very fraught. So it is going to try and scurry away towards the pit. Uh, Roshana and Kato, if you'd like oh, to make no. attack, of, attack of opportunity, you may. Yes. I've never seen a man make a bigger mistake. I do not. Kato does. Hits, and oh. with that, you... As the creature's hop, like running away from you, holding on to its uh, arm that Rashana just chopped off, it collapses before you. At uh, least it made its own grave. And the one in front of you, Vane, takes a look around. And having just been shanked by you, you just watch as it disappears. Um... Into the shadows before you. So it doesn't move away or anything. It, it doesn't. It literally disappears. disappears. Okay. Hmm. 
first. You guys seem to be out of combat. <sighs> oh, Dan! Who's not dead? Nah, not dead. Damn, damn close. Not dead. Ashana, <laughs> look after the other wounds. You gotta check the horses. Sorry? Look after their wounds. I gotta check the horses. Yeah, 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 sure. You, you turn around and you just see a pair of dead hands uh, poking out of the hole. Oh, Roshanna! <laughs> I'm helping you already! Come up! Come out of here! Up, Sabina! I want to see the monkeys! <laughs> I, I would help, but chances Grab are... Grab my hand! I don't, I don't like this hole! Jack, <laughs> don't let go! There <laughs> And Vayne is writing a ballad about this moment. <laughs> yeah, and uh, Rose down a hole. <laughs> Vine and Rose and jacking us, she managed to look out of the At hole. At least there's more space than that freaking door. Just jacking. Uh, uh. You all right there? No, I'm pissed <laughs> off. So am I. So am I. My one disappeared. I didn't even get to kill it. Oh. Means it's gonna come back. Are we out of combat? Yes, you are. Can I cast Detect Magic? You certainly may. Can can uh, I attempt to identify what sort of creature this? Uh, sure. Uh, give me an arcana oh. check, please, Rook. Yes. Whatever kind of creature it is, it's mum's a bitch. Yes, um, I will use the inspiration. Okay. Well, sorry, I, I took that from you. Yep, you wanted seventeen. Very good. Um, sorry, Vane, you were saying? Uh, I was just I was just gonna say that the creature's mum's a bitch. Oh, um, mm -hmm. but no. <laughs> I was just uh, detecting magic to see if the, um, uh, and I'll kind of move up here to see if the creature is in the vicinity, like invisible or something. Mm -hmm. um, you go scouting about and you cannot see the creature. It seems to have taken off seeing that all of its mates were killed. Okay, well, as it's not around, I'll say, yeah, that'll teach you. Stay away, bitch. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so looking over this creature, Rook, uh, these are definitely fey creatures. Um, as much as people like to think of the fey as, you know, fairies and pixies and all things beautiful and magical. And it certainly is. There is a dark and twisted side to the fey as well. And the side where their mums are bitches. You remember a story that you were told as a child of trying to keep spirits up. Because if you were to be laden with sorrow and with fear in particular, the mean lock would appear. Uh... Mean lock are cruel fey that invoke terror and seek to destroy all that is good. Um, primarily, they live in forests, but you know they can live basically in any situation. Um, they are spawned from fear. So... Whenever fear has overwhelmed a creature, either in uh, the Feywild or in places of the Material Plane, where you are right now, which is quite close to um, the Feywild's influence, um, one or more Meanlock might just spontaneously arise in the shadows. Um, they also burrow uh, beneath the ground, yeah. and they paralyze their victims to drag them down. They also cause... Noticed very unsettling hallucinations into the minds of their prey taking the form of so terrible whispers or fleeting movements just at the ends, edges of one's periphery mm. so I hope you get that done Rook gives it a kick <clears throat> can we um, perhaps harvest any of these as we probably need a little bit of a sit down for a bit because I am Kind of fucked up. I'm not really interested in tearing these creatures apart. 
Nah. I just want to uh, throw them in the hole and... How are, how are the horses? The horses are fine. They're a little bit spooked, but aside from that, they haven't been touched. In reality, they uh, were behind I... that bush, which is why you couldn't see Roshana, so they only saw one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wondering if the, like, glands or whatever can be harvested. I mean, you Love can try. Gland. You can scoop it up. I... <sighs> which of the two of Rook and Vane looks more hurt? I'm on. I'm above half. I think I can't do maths right now. <laughs> I'm I'm looking damaged, but for the most uh -huh. part, it's. Uh, it's Rook can sure. Rook can heal themselves. So. Oh yeah, that's true. Oh I'll, yeah, uh... well, fuck that guy, heal me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll cast healing word on Vein at second level. Okay. Seven <laughs> extra He's healing plot. points for you. Thank, thank you. You're welcome. I'll, I'll, I'll try to get some of the uh, some of the glands. Okay. If anyone else would like to assist, probably not. That's okay. Uh, you're gonna like do to it wrong. I'll I'll I'll, I'll pop out the uh, the harvesting tools. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I'll make cicada mesh out of them. I was gonna like. You know how you know how there's like that video on YouTube where Gordon Ramsay like de meets a lobster. This is what I imagine Brooke is currently doing. Uh, like, put the knife here and go, and then then turn, pull these out, and you just get a nice long thread of meat. Okay. Um. So yeah, if you want to use the harvesting tools, you can use. We'll say for this it's Dex. It's a little bit finicky. Uh. Sure. You did make sashimi out of a few of them, Kato, so it's not going to be a lot you're going to get, but... Is uh, is Kato helping uh, me? Okay. Yeah. Yep, so with advantage, if you like. I will cast Guidance on myself. Okay. <laughs> it is time for nonsense. Dexterity. Submit. There you go. Yeah. So it's Dex plus your proficiency as well. So yes, yep. that's that's all out of. Okay, lovely. Harvesting tools. Thank you. Uh, twenty-three. Yeah. Um, from the one intact <laughs> arm that you managed to get off of one of these creatures, uh, you managed to locate one of the glands beneath the armpit that connects to the claw. And you the claw very delicately remove it and uh, shuck it from the claw itself, and you do, do see it begins to ooze a little bit. Into the bag of scolding. Into the bag of scolding it goes. Yes. Lovely. That they can make a very useful dagger. What a, a dagger that makes people sad. Like, more than a normal dagger would. <laughs> <laughs> no, normal no, dagger no. makes people happy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, just in case they're going to do another harvest, I'll, um, as I walked past Rook, I'll pat him and go, good job, and give him another bardic inspiration, mm -hmm. and then I'm walking over to the horses, and I'm just going to sort of... You know, basically, like, uh, looking over the two that are immediately in front of you, like, there's one intact armpit gland. Mm, armpits. Yeah. I wasn't sure if this one over here might have something, because it was... Oh, uh... well, you can try blown to, to stuff um i'll say to i'll sort of shout over to rook and ko there's one over here that might be intact i'm not sure uh, okay go sit down and play a little bitty and i depending depending on how long that takes them i'm gonna short rest okay it won't take that long unfortunately uh for a short rest yeah, but right. Sorry, no, we might want a short rest as well uh, if you can give me another yeah, uh, please. Yeah. Another Guidance. harvesting tools with the decks, let's see. Dex. 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 I'll use my uh I'll use my second wind. Why cool. not? There we go. Twenty six. Twenty six, very nice. Yeah, and you managed to uh remove the armpit gland entirely. So you can write down two mean lock armpit glands. Mmm, delicious. Need a mean lock armpit gland soup. 
No, please. <laughs> um, uh, if, yeah, we're going to short rest, I will sign this. Yeah. Okay. Just as a heads up. I mean, it would be kind of neat to, like, uh, have a dagger with attached, I guess, psychological effects. That's what I have. More than a dagger just... already does. <laughs> it's not only the dagger that caused that. <laughs> from the from the armpit glands, you might get like a paralysis effect, but yeah, that's that's what I yeah. that's what I figured from like the start. <laughs> yeah. What the but, hell um... are we gonna do with that? What good paralysis? I mean, we won and we were paralyzed for like the entire fight. Mm -hmm. Um, it's real good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I will play a little song. Play a little ditty. And play a little ditty. I fell into a burning pit of dirt. Book went down, down, down as a goat, but got hurt. I'm going to need and you it's... to be quiet. <laughs> 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 Fair enough, enough, enough. Rick was a goat for a bit. A giant goat. Um, and then I'm just going to chill out. Okay, Tim. Nice. You guys uh, isolate the two armpit glands. You take a wee rest. The sky Whoa. above is very, very dim and dark now. Um, going to want to consider setting up camp soon. Well, I mean, there's a, yeah. there's a campfire here. So. There's a perfectly we... ominous camp right here. <laughs> do we really, <laughs> yeah, do we really want to do we really want to set up camp in a uh, <laughs> or some other poor souls were dragged into the forest? Well, what are the odds of what happened twice? <laughs> yeah. He <laughs> probably killed the things that dragged him into the forest as well. You don't know that. They're yeah. monsters, not lightning, Kato. <laughs> Duh. Wait, what? Doesn't that mean it brings wait, dark, wait. dark? Wait, what? <laughs> no, no, no. It's that... lightning, lightning strikes twice all the time. <laughs> true, true. <laughs> um, after I've done my song of rest, can I uh, have a little meander up here? I just want to see if this second uh, thing, because we've already run past it. If this uh, second car up here is as anything usable for um, yep. spare parts, etc. Yep. I had a feeling. Yep. <laughs> cool. <laughs> what about, is there like a billion gold there? Could we take that? <sighs> no? Nah? I didn't think so. Cool. Two billion? <laughs> Two billion? Uh, so I guess, do we want to... Um, do we want to set up camp here? For, or we could do it a bit more on the road. Um. Oh, actually, I'm going to take this big square away now, so. It's up to you guys, what you want to do? Uh, I mean, here is as good a place as any. I mean, okay. unless unless the sadness of this camp brings back the mean locks. Oh well, we is that how they work? So, if we were to just stay here, would they keep coming because the camp is sad, or I don't know. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I mean, I'm happy to camp here or camp a little bit closer to the road. <sighs> Yeah, let's let's give it a little bit of pace. And yeah, go back closer to the road. Okie dokie. I'm gonna hop up on the caravan and turn it around. Why am I moving so much? <laughs> kind of weird. Oh my god. There we go. Oh, that's good. Did um, we do it? Okay. You guys begin to bed down for the night. And mm -hmm. I think we'll call it here. 
for this week, guys. Mm. Oh, right. Yeah. Say like shit. Say shit. Say shit. Say oh, shit. <laughs> well, I think we did what five days of nothing really happening except an old dude, um, and that was just Kato looking in the mirror, um, and then. So I think we did really well. We had a good streak of just days where nothing really happened bad for That's, us. That that hole was more debilitating for me than it should have been. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 